parakeets can are very, very smart. Compared to other bird. birds, yeah. parakeets are very intelligent. Yeah. Smarter yes. than something that doesn't speak. Smarter than something that doesn't speak, Gavin. Hey, welcome to Off Topic, hey. episode number four. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah. Merry Christmas. We've got a packed house today. This episode sponsored by Lenovo and their Game State program. Uh, Check it out. Dude, that was right in the middle. Packed house today. Gavin's kind yeah. of just like, you not even so kind of just small. like hanging in. Hanging well, yeah, I'm, on like... the, I'm on the way to the, the airport, so I stop for a beer and then I'll shoot off. You do look tiny next to Jeremy and Jack. You look like the little Most bro. people are tiny next That's, to me. It's actually just a forced perspective What's, thing. Like he's standing 10 feet further back. It's a width, it's a width thing, That's Jeremy. true, yeah. yeah. This yeah, is where Jack are very wide your there. height don't even matter, little Jay. What's up? You're finally yeah. bigger than, than How's Gavin. Going? Uh, as always, I'm your host, Michael. On this episode, we are joined by... Jeremy. Jack. Ryan. And Gavin's kind of here, in the just distance. standing in the background drinking. Uh, this is a pre-recorded episode again because it's Christmas today. Merry, Merry Christmas! Hey, Christmas. December twenty-fifth. If you celebrate such a thing, and instead of spending time with your family, spend it here on Off Topic. No, but spend I'm... your time with us and your family. I'll put it on the screen. Rope you your family TV. into this. If mess. you got a new Apple TV or a Chromecast, you could just throw it right up. Yeah, Boom. or if you have like a brand new iPhone six plus. There you Ooh. go. Is that is that a brand new iPhone six plus, or is that just your old one? I mean, it's still kind of new, right? Yeah. Some, I mean, some, <laughs> some, I mean, some, some would say a year is still new for a smartphone. <laughs> okay. uh, that's <laughs> what? It's like a little orphan Gabby in the back. <laughs> no, you, like, cut, come back to the Gavin wide shot. Cut to that wide shot. He looks so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, you look like you're on timeout. <laughs> you're just, just drinking a beer for some reason. All right. Just sitting in the back. All right, you got it. Merry Christmas, guys. Right, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Christmas. Stay safe. You may, you may wait. Say hi, to, say hi to the queen for us. Happy Christmas, Gavin. <laughs> I, I tell him every we'll year. Stir that Merry in. Christmas to you as well. Mm -hmm. Was that broadcast or the audience? That was sweet. He's stealing the glass. Kill him. Oh. It was specifically to Patrick. All right, no so one else. Screw everyone else. Yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah. Sorry. You ever done Nick? It was a hard awe there. from people who are not Patrick. Oh, wait, he's yeah. back. Uh, 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 Dude, just fucking leave. Just that was oh, like leave this, is, of this, beer. this is what. Oh, he brought oh, it oh, he he the Apple TV remote. That's oh, yeah, yeah. It's a remote. Yeah. Every fucking week, we were just talking about this, about how like all the cups are missing from yeah, the set. Yeah, yeah, we're slowly like, depleting. They just wander off after the set. I wash what I can get in the sink, and then I put it back. Every week, there is a glass at least this full. It's like a half full or more sitting next to the, next to the sink. That's Gavin. I wanted another sip, so I poured an entire fucking glass of beer, took two sips, and they're like, oh, Pockets is over. Fuck this. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't even pour it out. He does that. Where yeah. He just left it on the bar and ran Someone away. Someone else will take care of it. Someone yeah, me. is not I'll me. I'll be busy in England. Don't worry. Wait, wait, we have a fridge back there. Are you sure you want to leave this egg? No, that is true. Though. We have a fridge where? The, 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 the kegs are what? in a fridge, Jeremy, behind the set. I mean, granted, there. you have to walk all the way around now, yeah. but that's oh, fine. That's like, it's like a real bar. All right, to to Jer fridges. Jeremy's gone now, so let's just let's talk, talk shit about him. We haven't really dragged him through the mud since that whole movie debacle. Oh, what oh, God. That was two episodes ago, right? I think that was episode Has one. That was, that, was the that, was, that was the last one I was on. Officially on. That was, yeah. Has he seen the Star Wars? No, no, he hasn't. No, no this, we're and this, talking about it. In and this, front of him. this oh, is yeah, well, this this is it. This is like continuing the Jeremy doesn't see movies thing. Everyone <laughs> in Achievement Hunter, let alone probably fucking Rooster Teeth, has seen or the world. has seen Star Wars except China. And like the other day, we were it's like t yesterday, I think we were talking about spoilers left and right. And we're like, did you see it? Did you, have you, have everyone seen the movie? Okay. Cool with Jeremy's it. like, I haven't, but. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Jesus true. At this point, assholes on the internet have spoiled everything. Yeah, it's about true. Yeah. I like knew it, the spoilers before. It's like, like, it's like, are you on the internet? Then someone spoiled it yeah. for I'm you. I'm yeah. so fucking happy I saw it. Dude, spoilers. Th there were, I saw posts on Instagram where people were taking photos of like food and people in the comments were just spoiling Star Wars. <laughs> it's like, what the f what? Yeah. That has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. Like, people have are power. dicks, dude. Yeah. It's it's like the internet comments are like the dark side. I mean, they just want to have the dark power. Yeah. And that's the thing, too. I always see people replying to that. And you're such an asshole. I don't know why you do that. People are such pricks. What do you get out of this? It's like that, what you just did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's the most honest that's why they do it. interaction. You actually affected somebody's life. Yeah. yeah. Negatively is usually the easiest way to go on the yeah. internet. But, but you can still yeah. sit there in your house and be like, I did something. Yeah. I yeah. changed that's the That's what super villains are made of. I did it. Yeah. I ruined the movie for them. <laughs> Excellent. 
Dude, you can get your lips like real the, close to your nose. <laughs> like your, your your internet troll has like a huge goiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's George Lucas. George ah, Lucas, yeah. yeah. You think that actually is George Lucas just Lincoln ruining it for people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just going around just yeah. ruining people. Like, oh, yeah, well, you know, fuck uh, you, JJ. You, know, uh, you make a good movie that I've JJ made told me years. I couldn't have Jar Jar in the film, so suck my dick. How about that? How about I spoil your movie, bitch? Yeah. Kiss, what do you think uh, about that? Kiss my, kiss my uh, rich fat ass. Kiss my rich fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that said, though, so we've all, you know, Jeremy aside, seen the movie. No spoilers. No, yeah. Right. Because, like, to me, it was a thousand years ago. But the but Rancor love scene was a little over the top. Was weird. The real world sometimes takes two years to see a movie. Like, don't spoil that. I was going to see that with my son I might have one day after I meet a woman. It's like, all right. <laughs> uh, I guess, sure. But, uh, it was fucking good. Yeah, it was, it was really, great. really, really great good. Great movie. I saw it twice on Friday. Yeah, I've Ooh. seen it So I've seen it twice. You've seen it twice. How many times? Just once, once and, and zero oh, like for you. Like five, yeah. So we still, average, we still average out at one. That's with, true. Even with your zero. We have more than one at this table. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's by now has heard us talk about it's basically true. the whole movie. I pretty so much you know the it. film. Yeah. I imagine Jeremy's going to see the movie now and be like, yeah. From yeah. what I've heard, it's, it's like a checklist. I remember that. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep. they talked about that. Oh, that's yep. the droid okay. they were talking about. Sailing so. points. Covered. Oh, yeah, there's a the lightsaber. Okay, I'll yeah. watch it. Like, oh, I didn't expect the scene to look like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I, now I thought he would be on the left in this. Yeah, scene, yeah. from what I heard. Struck it in my head completely differently. They didn't it's, say he was so cute. I'm gonna sit next to someone in the theater and just go, "Sorry, coming." <laughs> <laughs> Man. But yeah, it just felt like this movie was so well done and such a like a, a departure from the prequels yeah. that I, I just I dug the hell out of it. And like yeah. I mean we're not getting into spoilers or anything. I will say the lightsabers just felt so much heavier in this movie. They felt <laughs> like dangerous. Where like we've talked about it, where the prequels they felt like the, the lightsaber and the fights were very floaty. Like it was like more flourish and more like, ooh, look at us and like bouncing around. Well, this is more like I am trying to end you. I mean that's been a big debate with lightsabers, because there's a lot of people that are like, what I mean, it has no mass, right? I mean, you're swinging an energy blade, so the only weight that you're holding is the fucking hilt. Yeah. As far as we know. I yeah. guess, yeah. Wow, yeah. I mean, we I guess don't you know what we're talking about. Yeah. It could be heavy as Have dicks, you picked Ryan. up a real lightsaber? It does just end in the middle of the air for no reason, yeah. so maybe yeah. it's got some mass. I don't know. It can but only go so far. Also, they don't go through each other, which is a weird thing for energy. It's all about those crystals, man. If you put a bigger yeah. crystal in, would it be like 10 feet yeah. long? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like lightsaber <laughs> pole vaulting. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Ryan's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's, that's, I've done the math. Totally reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> That's what I learned from Kotor. Yes, <laughs> actually, really? got my nod going. Yeah, on. Oh, yeah. You, you use crystals and that. Yeah. You, well, but I know you could. I didn't know they had the longer the sabers. No, 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 okay. no. That's not. I, thought, not I knew, I knew that, the crystal but, shit. Yeah. Did you see the they ad for the build it yourself lightsaber that ran in front of? Yeah, when I no. saw it, they, it's like a they just a fucking basket of hilts and different blades, and you just like assemble one. They were making one that looked like a whole crescent. Well, oh, it, really? it's a toy. I mean, it's just I mean, they had, they, they've had those at, at, uh, at Disney World for a long time. They had like a build-your-own lightsaber thing, where mm -hmm. you go through and pick your color and like, well, your Well, this one was shit. ridiculous, though. It was like, you make, this one's a menorah, and it's got like <laughs> seven of them. It was really weird. Uh, huh. And you laugh, but it really, I mean, it's there's like a trident thing, but uh, it was really odd. I've seen the ones that like, they're like the like the guard that completely covers your hand. I've yeah. seen those mm -hmm. before, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Look for the build-it-yourself saber kit. Okay. It's pretty cool. I'm not invested in the company selling it. <laughs> I like not at all. Force sure? Unleashed not, had not, so no. many different colored lightsabers. Yeah. I wish yeah. that more they of those them all in there. Yeah. I like the, uh, there were there was like a black one, yeah. it was like solid black, and then there was either like a white one or like mm -hmm. a silver Colored yeah, there was a I white remember. one. Yeah, the black one had black like one a white cool glow shit. around it. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Now you haven't watched Star Wars, but have you played Star Wars? Yeah, have many, you played like all the Jedi Knight? No, I've I've played the Battlefront games. Yeah, like all of those and uh, all the Force Unleashed games, but I think that's it. I never played Old Republic or. Okay. Uh, yeah. Any Jedi of those. Jedi Knight Two. No. Yeah, yeah, that's like my base for most of my expanded universe lore comes from playing Jedi Knight and then also being like, what? And then googling it. You go on Wiki. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. it expands from there. It's the same thing. Like I don't read. Uh, it's Wikipedia. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. Wikipedia. I don't read comic books, but like I'll, you know, like Daredevil. Love Daredevil. Watching Daredevil, and I'm like, oh, who's that again? I look up a name. Four hours later, I'm on Wikipedia. Yeah. I'm like, this. What universe is this? <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of did that like with with Star Wars, and that's when I got super into the whole like Kyle Katarn thing and Jedi mm -hmm. Academy and Jedi Outcast and all that kind of shit. And I think like so as far as canon goes, like from Disney standpoint, they took over Star Wars. It's the six movies, like Episode one through six. Obviously now Episode seven, the Clone Wars TV show, the yes. like the last animated show, the one that started with the movie. Yeah, yeah. And yes. then and then that was like the first three episodes of the show. And then I think that was still going when Disney got 
Lucas Films and like, nah, fuck you, this is over. They ended that and then they started Rebels, which is running now. Mm-hmm. Um, I think those two shows are canon. Yes. And then the movies, and I think nothing else. No, but there might be like novels. Uh, there's a few. Yeah. It's, Early, it's yeah. not the many. newer stuff. I don't. Yeah. Know, I think. I think like all the old Republic stuff got wiped. out. I think it was anything. Yeah. Any novels after Disney obviously count. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know what counts before Disney. Not a lot. Not much. Yeah. But because I, I was mentioning last week the whole we talked about Darth Maul getting cut in half and he had the spider legs and I said that wasn't canon, but that someone was like it is canon. Yeah. Because that technically was in the. Uh, Clone the Clone Wars. Wars. It was in the Clone Wars. Really? The yeah. spider legged Sp- one? Spider oh, legs is awesome. in Clone Wars. So and then he even gets his regular legs back, I think, in Clone Wars. They they give him like robot legs. like. But they're like human robot yeah, but legs. Yeah, like a spider legs. ninja up legs. top and just like Darth Vader slow and plot. Yeah, dude, the legs get all long, dude. He's like, come on, legs, hurry! And he like, no. uh, turns into Hellboy. It, essentially, yeah, he's badass. <laughs> he turns into Hellboy? He's no, girl, girl horns yeah, and was... giant hand or something? And then he stubs his toe and dies again. No. Really? He trips down the same hole. No, no! Came back for the rest of me. Man, we I, I went through and rewatched the early ones before yeah. the new ones. Return of the Jedi is not nearly as good as I thought it was. Like I thought it was a lot better, but it starts out strong. It starts out the Jabba's Palace stuff. Mm-hmm. Then there's 45 minutes of just nothing. It's just terrible and slow. I can't remember what happened. They the they, they go to the Force Moon of Endor, yeah. and then like they they get down there. They fight a couple stormtroopers. They get the the lights the the speeder bikes. Speeder chase. Yeah. And then there's like they meet the Wookies or the Ewoks. Ewoks, Ewoks. Jack, please. Excuse me. And then, um, and then they go, and then like they talk at the base. They talk. They, three PO becomes they, a god. They talk, yeah, but they talk at like the the, the Ewoks Spoiler. base, and then it's just like, okay. Then Luke leaves, and he's like, okay, you can capture me. And they're like, okay, we're gonna turn you. He's like, nope, you're not gonna turn me. I'm gonna turn you. And then it's another fifteen minutes of nothing. And then the the Emperor shows up, and then there's a fight. And then there's the fight on the planet. And the, then Luke's watching the fight. He's watching the actual the the, the space fight. And then, you know, he gets shocked and all that shit. But it's just like, it's just, there's a long periods of nothing in that movie. No, and it's I don't bad. Need to see it. Yeah, true. Sure. <laughs> Look, looking back on it, up. and it's funny, I know there's a lot of those scenes. The best comparison I can have is there are so many fucking shots where it cuts back to Luke and the Emperor, and nothing's happening. Yeah, and he's just standing there looking, looking out, the out the window. It's like fucking Dragon Ball Z nonsense. Well, like, it literally is. <laughs> Usually when it cuts back to him, then the Emperor adds a little jibe, like, yeah. yes, your friends are going to Yeah, die. no, that's true, but it's yeah. just like, that happens like five times. But there's nothing like, like, I get it. Powerless to say but it means like, like, guess what, Luke? You're still losing. <laughs> yeah. No. Your no, friends no. are all dead. I got another four. Did you forget about this scene? <laughs> it's still going. It's like all those scenes in Dragon yeah. Ball Z where yeah. there's a fight about to happen, and it cuts to like, the fucking forest, and you're looking at like mm, a chipmunk, what doing. you know, or, or like it cuts back to Chi Chi and her dad, and they're they they're got like, Baba's there, and she's like, "This crystal ball just won't work." And, <laughs> it. and I'm like, "Just go to the fucking fight!" Like it's kind of like that. But there's not even a good lightsaber fight really in Jedi. It's like no. you have you have Luke at the beginning being a badass, which is great. But I mean, like him and Darth fighting at the end, they're not really like. I mean, it's kind of like a hey, stop it, stop it. It's not no, like they're I mean, trying. They're not trying to kill each other. He's more true. like just kind of fighting. It's really they're trying. They hate yeah. you know. They both hate the Emperor, and so. So it's like, oh, okay, okay. So, really, the only good lightsaber fight we got in the original trilogy was the one on, in Empire on Bespin, where like the two of them, and then ultimately gets thrown out the window. But I mean, it's yeah. kind of like, oh, I mean, even then, All right. lightsaber fights were really. I mean, we were kind of talking about this in the office the other day, like how lightsaber fights in the first three chronologically, the the newer trilogy, uh, were treated so much differently than anything else. But, it, you know, it's, it was purely technological. Really. Yeah. Like, they couldn't do anything better back when George Lucas did the first three, because it was just like a fucking wooden pole uh, that they had to make sure they uh, fall I don't know. I mean, they could have gotten some sword fighter guys to show them how to do some stuff. I mean, like... A little bit, they but... Made, they made, the pirate movie's been made for ages. Like, yeah. you know, like, there's a lot of, <laughs> of stuff they could have gone to. Uh, but, but instead, it's like, oh... Uh, they they, I mean, it's one scene in the whole the effects, movie. Though. I think they were yeah. just like, fuck it. I mean, yeah. that was... Fucking laser sword. To whatever. make the yeah. fucking lightsaber actually work in terms of just you know the, the actual cinematography of it, it was God, it had to have been really hard because that was like a rotoscope thing. Like they yeah. couldn't yeah. do any kind of well. CGI or computer effects. It was just like a hand animated fucking lightsaber. So if the faster it moved, the more blurred, the harder it would be to actually do that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I figure that's like the one scene people want to see during the movie. So it's like I would want to see something big with this. You know, the lightsaber fight's important, and then it's like, oh yeah, it's, nah, it's not really. Plus, it's busted ass old Darth Vader. That's true. It's true. They're both fucking old as shit. <laughs> God. Well, Luke was it? I will say the. No, I mean in Episode Four, it's fucking. Mm-hmm. Oh, Obi-Wan. versus Obi Wan. Yeah. yeah. It's like they're both. Oh, that fight is a that was a yeah, that fight. Yeah. That's like bad high school theater sword <laughs> fighting. Not even bad wait, high school. Wait, wait, my hood's fight. come down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
They actually cut a shot. Did I get him? Like, there's like, um, someone's actually taken the original trilogy and they're doing a despecialized version of yeah. the movies where they're going through making an, making an HD master of the original now, prints, like wait a pre CGI stuff. So you just watched episode six. Yes. So you didn't like the part where he added no oh, into the movie, or or when they have young what's his name, Pot Hayden Christensen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Makes no sense at all. Well, you I hate that more than anything else. So bad. But, uh, it's so, like him going like, I'm here. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm in run. it. Take I'm it in the me. original, bitch. Obi-Wan doesn't understand. <laughs> um, no, but like, so someone's going through and remastering the movies with the original stuff. So they took out all the CGI, they're removing all of it, like painstakingly like rotoscoping out the new stuff, adding, like replacing the old stuff. And at one point during the fight between Obi-Wan and Darth, like Obi-Wan gets knocked into a wall and it's like the most awkward thing ever. Cause it's like old ass Alex Guinness, like hitting this wall and it's like, oh, oh shit, are you okay? And <laughs> They cut that from like the special editions. They actually cut that shot from the from the special editions. It's like, oh wow. I'm, I'm fine well, watching that's... this guy disappear, but yeah, I'm yeah. not fine watching this actor break his hip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just not that Star Warsy. Man. For a second there, he was Alec Guinness, and not Obi Wan. Oh, yeah. I fractured, I fractured my oh, Jedi bone. Yeah. Like, oh no. Oh, got, He's got like using, using his lightsaber as like a walking stick <laughs> getting around. But, it was yeah. The other thing we were talking about that was kind of really hadn't occurred to me was how much of the Jedi powers just aren't in that or really yeah. original trilogy. Like yeah. there was one force well, jump. Sorta. Well that's even even before before uh I guess episode five, like the very first time ever when he I think it's with the with the Wampa, mm. what it's called? Boys when he cave. fucking force pulls the the lightsaber, that's the first time ever in all of Star Wars that it's like actually like, oh it's fucking real. Like like physically something magically moved. Like even all of the first one, it's this like pseudo like is it real? It's all these people talking about shit. And really the only thing you have to go by is the Jedi mind trick. Well but Vader kills the guy. Vader right? chokes the dude. Yeah, yeah. The that's not. actually true. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah I take that. I back. can't remember he if does, he picks him he up. He does choke a guy. Uh, no, he no, just, no, he, he just stays seated. Yeah, on, on Leia's cruiser, he picks yeah. up a guy and like lifts him up by his neck. But that was oh, just with his hand. Yeah, that was yeah, with that, his hand. That was yeah. with his hand, but he does he does choke a guy at the meeting, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's episode four. He, says, did he lift him off the ground no, when he did that. he doesn't lift him off he the just, ground. No. You're, yeah, just you're thinking of the very beginning when he just physically yeah. picks him up off the ground, then he yeah. fucking throws the guy into a wall. And he's a robot man, so no one is like... There's also a couple times where he's talking to people over like a video screen and chokes one out while he's standing next to the other one, and that's always really funny. Whereas like the guy sitting there, he's like... Uh, <laughs> like falls on the other guy's like, uh, it's all we're all good here, boss. Don't worry, we're good. And but his it's friend like, falls over dead. That's true. This is the Vader thing. But even that, it's very like, ooh, what is it? After that, and going into the Jedi, there's like, fuck it, you know, yeah. like force jumping and and doing shit, and like especially with the prequels. Yeah. And it's clear, like, and like what more? What I was saying, like that's. All the fucking expanded universe, like Jedi Academy or, or or Jedi Knight. The whole fucking point is like, yeah, it's a shooter, but give me the lightsaber. I'm gonna become yeah. a fucking Jedi Master. Give me the lightsaber. And then the whole game is like upgrading your abilities, like Force Jump and Push and Pull and Lightning. And same thing with the Force Unleashed. It's like yeah. all that super hardcore magic stuff. Force Unleashed really took it to another level, where you at one point you like pull down a fucking Star Destroyer. Yeah, 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 yeah that's like the end of the fighter. first game, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think so. My favorite thing from Jedi Knight Two used to be you just jump in the air and then like Force Throw a guy. Up, and you just send him to the moon, and then about a minute later, he'd come falling <laughs> down. Like, ah, it's flat. And I die. would love in that game, like that, something that's still, I don't think has ever been a fucking thing in Star Wars, but to me, it's like, oh yeah, that's Star Wars, because it's in so many games, but like, especially in Jedi Academy, the later ones where you can get two lightsabers, you mm -hmm. dual wield, and you can do that thing where you fucking throw them, and they just spin around you. Like, the mm -hmm. guy just like, kneels down, and literally like, two lightsabers just 360 circle him and kill everyone. Yeah. Like, I want to see a Jedi fucking do that in the movie. Just <laughs> throw my lightsaber. Even the thing that's like, Darth Vader's thing at this point, like in Battlefront, where he throws the lightsaber, yeah. and then it comes back. Like, yeah. that's never been in a like, movie. Like, uses a boomerang or something. Shits in the movies. Wait, they don't no, ever. There was, they, a, there was a saber throw. In they the don't movies. boomerang the lightsabers. Maybe do the they? prequels, but not, I don't not even remember trilogy. one in the prequels. Mm. God, that's but familiar. it's like totally different. Where like where you see Star Wars of like what kind of Star Wars it is. You know, mm -hmm. like the video games are all superpowers, all force yeah, yeah, powers, yeah. all yeah. like jump and everything. And like the first three movies barely touch on it. Well, and yeah, the Yoda go, lift the X wing. You had the time when, when yeah and, when. Vader starts losing, so he just starts throwing shit. Yeah, he's just like breaking the ship apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He like throws an air conditioner at him. Yeah, yeah. 
and Luke just starts going, ah, Yeah, well, that's, ah, he starts ah, breaking ah, everything, ah. and all the all the steam starts pouring out everywhere. That's the whole fight is like yeah. all steamy and shit because Vader's just ripping the place apart. It's not like Force Unleashed where you spend the first two hours just pushing Wookiees off. No, the it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Wookiees and Stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah. Just launching yeah, your friends. Yeah, they walk by. You're just like, hey, I, I do love that. I love that in Force Unleashed. Like they don't give a shit. Like okay, yeah, you can you can fuck with Stormtroopers too, and they're still not gonna fight back. <laughs> it's like, like yeah, yeah, that's best Vader. You don't mess with Vader. That's cool. He killed that dude. Yeah, oh well. well. <laughs> I was like, Ted, oh, whatever. We'll get a new one. So, anyway, good movie. You should absolutely see it if you haven't seen it already. I'd recommend it. Um, yeah. Definitely should see episode four, five, and six, though, because this, this yeah. movie, yeah. the entire movie is like, you saw the originals, right? Yeah. You, almost, uh, well, you don't have to see the prequels. It's, I will, they, no. bear, they don't even mention there's them. A, there's one mention, there's one yeah. kind of like hint at uh, something that happened during the prequels that's a total throwaway line, but other than that, they completely pass over all of the prequel stuff. Yeah, I will say, as soon as you watch the movie, go find a Wikipedia to explain to you how you got to where you are at the beginning of the movie because they don't do that. Like, there's a lot, you're like, is there a lot of is there explanation online about that stuff? Yeah, oh, really? there, oh, yeah there, there is, is some stuff. Explanation. There's like a visual there's a, dictionary. There's a bunch that of canon stuff out. that came oh, really? out. Like, actually, yeah. I'm. It's not really a spoiler, but I won't I won't say who it is or whatever. Yeah. But there's a scene right in the beginning with with Ray. You know, when she's sitting in the in the desert and she's playing with that fucking helmet. Yeah. yeah. Like they already told you who that helmet belongs. Oh really? To. Yeah. That's, oh, that's like cool. canon online yeah. and stuff. Like every I read about that this morning. About it's like, the setup. Do you know who wore this helmet? Has huh. an explanation that is not the movie. That's cool. Yeah. And so that's that's like an ancillary thing. This is like an like. I'm not sure. It, it was all credit when I was reading it. It was all credited to something called the Visual Dictionary. And yeah, I don't know it's what the that same is. thing. I, What's I the Visual Dictionary? The thing that has like the Millennium Falcon split in a thousand pieces, and you can see all what everything Could does. Be. That's awesome. Huh. Yeah. Whatever that is, it's canon and and explains the setup. So there's a bunch of websites now that will actually just break it down for you. It's like here's what you really needed to know that wasn't included in that text right. scroll at the beginning. Yeah. Right. But I will say though, love the fucking title scroll. Yeah, for, it, was, it short, was short. It was short. It was straight to the point. There was no like asshole, yeah. just like the, 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 the Galactic Trade the Federation space conglomerate yeah. is uh, deciding the galactic meeting between the interstellar species. It's like shit's happening. Yeah. Here's what's going on. Like, Go fucking find out. Movie starts. Yeah, like, it, it's very <laughs> like, clear. And fight. It's like it's like the first sentence is like, oh, oh, shit's real. Right. Okay, we're right. doing this, and it's just a right into it. It's so good. The other crazy thing about it, because it's such a good movie, and and. You know, I sh I'm sure they somehow had to plan it slightly. There's no way it was coincidence. But the first three came out in 77, 80, and 83. And then mm -hmm. um, uh, episode one came out in 99, and it was 99, 2002, 2005. So, like, in my brain, it's, like, three years for a Star Wars movie. But it's already coming out in two years. But it's not even two years. Yeah. It's fucking 17 months. Yeah, wow. less than a year and, and a half away. Less than a year and a half. It's like, that's crazy. I was reading that article about the helmet, and it was yeah. like... Start your predictions now. We've got 17 months to wait, and I'm like, that's crazy soon. Yeah, that's so soon. Apparently, they're filming the next one right now, and in Rogue One, they're probably done shooting. Which I is, would think it's coming Ro out yeah, next year. Rogue One's coming out, I think Thanksgiving ish, like November at some point, and so you know, so Rogue One takes place before Episode Four, before New Hope. So like right before. Right, it's, it's, it's it's the story of the team that stole the Death Star plan. It's the Halo out. Reach, basically. Yeah, 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 that's a good way to <laughs> yeah. put it. I'm sure it's gonna have a great ending so, for all those yeah. people. I'm sure yeah, it's yeah. gonna end. Very similar. The characters were never heard and they, from again. Uh, yeah. And they hung out with Luke Han and Leia yeah. at the after party. <laughs> they did such a good, think, good job. They all retired. Do you, think, yeah. do, you think, do you think maybe in the next special edition we'll put like those forty-five fucking squadron fighters uh, next to uh, Darth Vader and Obi Wan? Yeah. Like, hey, we were here too. Yeah. This is like, like a what, legion of ghost putting characters. Putting things. <laughs> well, I, I'm curious. Like, so they're doing so they're doing Rogue One, and then they're doing Eight, and then it's the Han Solo or Boba Fett movie after that. Because they're doing a Han Solo or Boba Fett movie, and then they're doing nine, and then they're doing even the other one, like a Han Solo. Like a young Han Solo? Yeah. Or I would fucking Han hope so. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. I would hope so, man. <laughs> and so, uh, Holy yeah. shit. But, uh, yeah, Harrison so, Ford just gonna, comes in on his walk. It's gonna, no, the movie's going to start, and he's going to be laying on his deathbed and just go, Rosebud. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we've got like six years of Star Wars coming up, basically. It's we started crazy. right now, which is it, fantastic. It was wow. a great start. But yeah, will yeah. we get another holiday special? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully not. No, I'll you watch. don't know what I'm talking about. There's a, a shitty, it's awful It's very famous. Yeah. Special that We're like Chewbacca has Wars, a like, wife. For TV. Well, half of it is not English. Yeah. Half of it is like just Wookiees talking Wookiee to each other. Yeah, which is that's it. Oh, that's it. Damn it. It's just yeah. them going. Like, that's it. And then like the phone rings and it's like, and they answer the phone. And it's fucking Leia. And Leia's like, hello. I'm here for the television Christmas special. 
because she does coke. Right. Oh, that was, yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. That was, okay. that was my, that Her was fucking, have you seen any of her, her interviews? Like oh, her press? Been great. Yeah, she doesn't like, give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. No. She has her dog with her and yeah. shit. She's like, whatever, dog with like, his tongue hanging out. I love when like, she was talking to that, I don't know what show it was, but she was like, you, you're just like some kind of genetic freak. I don't know how you're so gorgeous. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> she mentions like her weight loss and she's like, yeah, well, you know, I don't care as much as you do, obviously. Yeah. Like, whatever. I like, when you get old like me and she's like, oh, I'm over 42. And she's like, Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> that <was> awesome. <laughs> no Man. shit. Yeah, that's. I mean, think if you're an actor and you're like, you know, 30 years after you made your kind of last big movie, they're like, oh, we want you to be in another one where you're reprising your role when you were in your 20s. You're like, fuck, I gotta look like a okay, and just like start working. Her out. voice was still hard to get over, though. Yeah. In the yeah, yeah her voice is kind of She's got a rough. granny voice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's just, just a hard life yeah. is what that is. It's so, like uh, she was living some hard times during those Star Wars She lived days. it to the max. <laughs> I will yeah, say, she really uh, did. I will say Harrison Ford looked fantastic for it. He's what, I thought he looked 70s? better in this than Indiana Jones, and that's almost yeah. fucking uh, 10 the Crystal years Skull. Old. It's yeah. almost 10 years old. Crystal Skull's 10 years old? Yeah. It's like 2007, maybe? Jeez. 2006? Oof, that's a terrible movie. And he was, I think he was like 16. 63 in that? So he's got to be like 70, 71, yeah. something like that now. But he looks great. He, 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 he looks he full of life. Off as he's, much as he could have. He's yeah. been through a broken leg, a plane yeah. crash. Yeah. 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 Calista Flockhart. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of stuff Dude, going on. Dude, and pictures of uh, Mark Hamill online. Have you seen the side by sides? Oh, yeah. He online? looks great, he looks too. So amazing. Yeah. That's, well, a, that's what voice acting will do to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give like, a fuck. Well, whatever, whatever. Whatever. Give me a bag of Cheetos and a microphone. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, the, and say what though? The Joker looked great for years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like ageless, yeah, really. Like, yeah. Like that. Well, he kind of rough in the last Arkham game, but so then he went Ar to the future <laughs> and he was fine there too. It was good. He did. He yeah. did. He hid inside. Uh, it was one of the Bat Boys. It right? was Jason Todd's yeah. brain. Was it? In in and the, Return of the Joker, but in Return of the Joker, I don't know yeah. if it was Jason Todd. No, it was the next one. It was the one after. Jason him. Todd was from Arkham, right? When the that was yeah the, yeah, yeah yeah. Spoiler: Someone Jesus. might not have played it's it. Not Dick Grace is not Jason Todd. Oh, they're about to have their last the, DLC. The, Go the play. last one, the last one is um, Tim, Tim Drake. Drake. Tim Drake, but like Miles Morales. The thing, the thing with Jason Todd is it's always weird depending on which Batman, like you know, because there's 800 billion different universes. Yeah, yeah. Half of them include him, half of them don't, because it's too dark. It's yeah, too yeah. much. Yeah. Like they do that a lot, where like they'll throw Jason Todd shit. To Tim Drake because it's just like eh, kind of mix it all whatever. together. But then, but then, wrong. but then Jason Todd had this huge resurgence. I don't know a few years ago when they made that fucking uh, what was it, like the Red Phantom. Is that is that Jason oh, yeah, Todd? Yeah, yeah. Red, they made Red, Red Hood. Hood. Red Hood. Yeah. That's what it is. They made that. I was combining it with Mask of the Phantasm. Right. Um, they brought him back and now he's like in everything again. So it's like you brought him back as the Red Hood. That's his character. Well, Red Hood DLC is in Batman. I, but he's also Arkham. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Like, it's like what? I don't, know, I don't know if you want to get into spoilers or theories, but did you hear the theory about the uh, the Suicide Squad yes. and yeah, all that? That's they're, an they're, awesome. Theory. So they're saying that this Joker might actually be Jason Todd, which could be kind of cool. Like there, yeah, I mean, there, 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 there's no there's no proof that. or there's nothing about yeah. that. It's just that's a theory that's out there, which would kind of make sense, you know? Because well, so you see, he's young as shit. Too. Yeah, yeah, he's young as shit, and he looks so. Joker fanboy. Yeah, he really yeah, does, yeah. and he, he looks like he looks like the Jokers from Batman Beyond. Which yeah, is yeah. Basically, like right. it was like they weren't even the same gang; they were like a novelty gang of the Joker. Yeah, you know what I mean. They're fanboys, basically. Yeah. yeah, and he does he does look like that. Yeah. I would be way more accepting to that. Than so this is the real. Yeah, Joker. I don't know. That, that, I'm, I'm not. I don't know. The, the whole Batman versus Superman thing it just does not have me interested at all. Really, it's yeah. interesting that they've like, got. I mean, they their Affleck looks. I mean, he's got a little gray in his hair. Like he looks like an older Bruce. He Wayne. He looks like a good Bruce before. Wayne. I don't think he looks like a good Batman. Like the pictures of him as Batman, is looks kind of like dumpy. Yeah, it's that's like, the thing too. It's the like, suit. I don't yeah. like the suit. It's so like. They've like, gone back bulky. to like Batman it's like can't fat. look fat. Yeah. It's yeah. like fat. It's like Batman yeah. has to look like a fucking tank. And you know what's what with mean? all he's the like, like Ugh, I'm a robot. I'm really curious where the where the hell it's going with all like the steampunk alternate universe type shit. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That must be a dream. I've heard theories about that, but I don't want to just in case that stuff's real. I mean, that's there's a that. there's a canon. Well, I don't know how canon it is, and I'm not that much into DC, but uh, there is a like a steampunk Batman. Yeah. So I don't know if that's like an alternate universe that they're actually. Uh, it always that looks exist like he's fighting. Like it, he looks like he's fighting like Nazi soldiers, but I yeah. think if you look closely, they have like Superman's mark on. Them. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like so, it must it. At right now, it looks Nazis. like a dream yeah. sequence. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, well, that's why I'm imagining a world controlled by Superman. Here's my theory. This is how Lex Luthor Lex, Lex Luthor convinces uh, basically the Bruce Wayne Batman character to go after Superman is he pre presents him with images from an alternate reality. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also it's gives possible. gives them the kryptonite. He also right? he also creates the like, Facebook yeah. too. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. son of a bitch. You get him on there. Plus yeah. the other thing about Lex Luthor, bald. Yeah, like I well, I can't, can't t- trust he's him. He's like what? I can, can't t- I can totally see that. Oh, actually, wig. I take that back. He's yeah. not even in the movie. I just not thought yet. about it. He's yeah, not. I would think it's yeah. a wig or something. Yeah, yeah. I could, I could see that be like Jesse Eisenberg because Jesse Eisenberg's playing a younger version of Lex yeah. Luthor, obviously. And I could see it being something like he's actually bald, but he wears a wig to be like, oh, I'm still young and hip. And it's like, no, you were. Well, actually, they going to do that, or yeah. are they going to do the thing like ah, they did one of the previous Supermans? Didn't they have like a Lex Luthor with hair and like he just got like Kevin fucking Spacey, yeah. burned off Wasn't or something? No, Kevin Spacey was always bald. Was it? It had, it had to be Gene Hackman. I thought Gene Hackman. I know. He wore a wig for one of the movies because, like, they, he had like the the heads God. with different wigs yeah. on it. Remember the so. breakout scene? What what Superman was that? Was that two or three? When when Alex Luthor broke out of prison in was the, the helicopter showed yeah. up? Or yeah, something? yeah the hel- it was just like it's just like my thought went to it. It's just like so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like like you talk about movies nowadays, which are dumb. Like that makes no sense. This makes yeah. no sense. That that shit is like the vein of '60s Batman. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Like Thwack, Adam, Adam West. Uh, Adam West Batman. It's literally Gene Hackman. Like da, 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 da. let's get out of here and a fucking <laughs> yeah. like a rope ladder descends like the Joker from Tim Burton's Batman yeah, yeah. and he just climbs it and just floats out of the prison. It's like it's that easy. You just get a helicopter, fly over and pull your ass out. We're back to your rich amazing. life somehow. Yeah. Do you think Superman should have spun around the world when he yeah, did that. Yeah, he reversed time. Like, yeah. Keep yeah. reversing there. Escape and get him. Yeah. Just keep reversing down his escapes. <laughs> did you think they? It looks like they gave away too much during the last trailer Absolutely. of Batman Superman. You think so? Absolutely. Yeah. Like they were I mean, like if you haven't seen it at home, I don't, don't think I've watch seen the last it. trailer. It's they they reveal like the big baddie, they reveal sort yeah. of like the team up stuff. Like it's like there's so much stuff. It's like, wait, what? Like why would you say any of that? Someone yeah. someone yeah. actually recut that trailer and took out some stuff mm-hmm. and it made it like Ten thousand times saw better. That, yeah. I was like, oh, this better. is the trailer they should have released. The last one I remember seeing, I think, is the one that has uh, Wonder Woman in it for like two seconds. She pops. She's popped yeah. up in both trailers. In but the there's a new one. She's, one she's in, in it for a little bit longer. And they yeah, show like I how she's introduced. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. literally. I think it might be her first scene where she pops up, and it's like. And like you see reactions to it. it's like wait what no that's that's a huge thing and like you you, you see who like the ultimate bad person or the bad the bad yeah, guy is gonna be and it's like uh, what, huh? I saw the trailer yeah. it's so dumb it's like well there's there's your entire movie for you well it's I mean like, everybody knew that the Batman versus Superman conflict really wasn't gonna be where it went you like, had to you like had to assume so. yeah. straight yeah. 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 yeah I didn't think that'd be the big fight I would think that's three quarters through the movie they right. settle it out they're like we're gonna team up and then they fight whatever the hell yeah but you just didn't there. expect like, to have it dropped in your lap. I mean, Immediately. Yeah, yeah, and people are like, oh, is it gonna be like Brainiac shows up? Is it gonna be like they didn't know what, what the conflict was gonna be? Yeah, like, it's and everyone shows up. And yeah, exactly. And then they just be. and then they just showed. No, there's no, a, they, they've already true. said the name of the character. Remember yeah. when in Spider Man when there was like Spider Man three? Like, keep there was keep Venom throwing them in. Keep and, throwing yeah. them in. There's probably like a lizard man somewhere. Remember in there. the end? We got more space. Get one more. Shove them in there. Yeah, bring Venom back. Uh, remember at the end of three, like when they win against Sandman and he just floats away. Yeah, he turns into mist. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh no, he's still alive. He's leaving, he's, and he's gone. And that's the guy who just murdered a bunch of people, and he's just gone. Yeah, but he was kind of sorry about it, and he, yeah, and he, he felt, was in sideways. He so. felt guilt. <laughs> yeah, him and Paul Giamatti. Mm-hmm. Did he actually out. kill anybody? I think yeah. so. I think I'm sure he was responsible for people's deaths. People probably drowned in sand. <laughs> he killed. Uh, didn't he fucking kill his uncle? Wasn't that the whole thing? Is that what it was? He was the real guy that killed Peter's well, that uncle. Was, that was the sort of retcon thing, yeah. That was the retcon oh, yeah. thing. But that that was the plot we in the movie. We think we've identified like, yeah. the guy like, that really killed. This is killed. the real killer. So remember how guilty you felt for letting that guy get away? It was fun. Yeah. He really didn't do anything else bad. Yeah. Which sort of ruins all of Spider-Man. So. <laughs> Yeah, but at least the third movie is regarded as the best one out of the three. Oh, right? Is it? The, there's a no, series. That was a joke. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is the That scared me for a minute. I was like, yeah. Jesus Christ. Sec- two, one, three. There's yeah, a series on YouTube count. called uh, "Really That Good." It's actually a really neat series where this guy, it's, he goes back and looks at movies that like people consider like amazing films, and he really just analytically just tears them apart to see if they're actually really that good. And he did Spider-Man one and two combined, and it was actually a really awesome episode. It's like, it's like 40 minutes of him explaining like plot and characters and like. His only qual- his only sort of like you know uh, nitpick with the movie was Mary Jane, and because she's basically just like a damsel in distress for the entire first movie and most of the second movie. Yeah. And other than that, yeah. she she really doesn't have much of a character other than to be there for like the male leads to fight that over. Is sort of Mary Jane as a character's arc though? Like that was one of the things yeah. where as a product of the times, early on she was just kind of the the damsel, and then as we've matured with comics, now all of a sudden. Female characters get to have personality yeah. too. Ah, she wasn't hey. even. She wasn't even the damsel for a lot of it, though. It was the uh, the blonde 
chick. What, what's Wait, her? Gwen Stacy? No. Gwen Stacy. She, well, she's she was a dental for at the beginning. Well, in the, right? in the comics. Well, in the comics. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in the yeah, movie, yeah. they just cut her ass out. Yeah. In the, uh, original. What, uh, what the fuck? And is they bring name? her back in three. Uh, the same Raimi movies. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking of the. Tobey Maguire. There you go. Tobey Maguire. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So they bring her back. They bring her back in three and totally like flip her and and Mary Jane. But it's, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Oh, I totally forgot about yeah, that. She's yeah, yeah. she's isn't she dating uh, the Venom. fucking. Uh, no, is it Venom? Yeah, yeah. It's, no, uh, no, 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 no. She's so. she's dating JJ's son. Was she? Yeah, oh, who's the yeah. astronaut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who she's dating. That's right. Yeah, and because he was the one that was gonna get married to Mary Jane, and Mary Jane left him for Peter at the end of two. It was like he turns into like a wolf man. Yeah, not in the movie, but in the comics he does. Well, they, it's funny because like there's a shot in in two. Where when, it's like at the end of the movie when uh, when Mary Jane is in the spider web at the top of the thing and he comes out and like does this leap onto this boat and it's like a really significant thing. It's like oh maybe they're setting him up to be like something more than he is and then it's never got back to it. Yeah. I was like oh that's seemed it seemed very odd to point out like this giant like fifteen foot jump he took and then just never call it out again. I love how shit happens. Yeah, I, I love guess how so. comic, comic book universes like that. Like anyone who is kind of related to the main character will become a supervillain or superhero in some way. It Actually, must be done. Yeah. Like, even think... Flash Thompson, the bully yeah. who bullied Spider Man, he's Venom now. Is he really? Yeah. Like, but he's, he's Agent Venom. He's like a good guy. Yeah, he works Story. for he works for a shield. He also he's lost got, his legs. He's got guns and shit. Does he have venom legs at least? But he has venom legs when Thank he's venom. God. Yeah. yeah. So he's like God. symbiote legs or whatever. Yeah, but when he doesn't, then he's in a wheelchair. Then he's Oracle. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Gotcha. Only with a little slightly more spine. Probably not as smart. Uh, actually, I think in the... Because Marvel just did one of those things where they just... Oh, you know what? Let's just fuck everything up for a little bit. And uh, I think Mary Jane might be Spider-Man right now. Sure. She's... I know there's, there's like... <laughs> Why not? Uh, yeah. Well, it's like... Is, there's that. And there's also like Spider-Gwen, who's actually... Mm -hmm. Gwen Stacy is also a Spider-Woman now, too. Did Gwen die? Uh, in which universe? Yeah. At which uh, time? They've like mixed everything together. Like the ultimate... Series, some of that, like Miles Morales, is now in the main. Universe. There's just no and tracking. It's always been my problem with comics. It's yeah. just, you, it's impossible. Like even if you're like, no, 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 this traces to this, and this traces to that, and this, and this, and this, you can like explain every single thing forever. And there's always like, what about that though? And they're yeah, like, like, oh yeah, ah, we, just don't talk about that. That's that's Wolverine going back in time. Right. It's about like, that. well, that's a whole thing. And it's like <laughs> well, that's comic books as a whole are all yeah, a thing. That's yeah, comic people do die. Thing. Like people yeah. dying is is sometimes awesome in comic books. Like the whole Gwen Stacy thing with her like falling and yeah, yeah. Green Goblin. Yeah, you had to make a decision between the two. Exactly. Like that was awesome. And then like even the Green Goblin got killed. And the Green. There's been like there's been like twelve goblins, dude. No, but then Norman Osborn came back and dressed up as the Iron Patriot. Yep. Really? There was Iron Man and Captain America. Even back in the day, there was a Hobgoblin, the fucking orange Green Goblin. Yeah. He's like oranges. Yeah. Well, that orange was that was the son, right? That was Norman's son. That was Harry. Right? Harry. Harry was Sometimes. the second Green Goblin. Yeah, he was he was Hobgoblin. <laughs> yep. Which he had no, the purple hat. No, Hobgoblin was actually that was a different Roderick character. Kingsley. Yeah. Jesus. Because he had the, well, I guess the Green Goblin too. Which one had like pumpkin bombs? That was, that was all the goblins. It was all they the started yeah. with the, the green goblin. I guess, but like the orange dude was like specifically like it's a fucking pumpkin, like it's a it's oh, yeah. a jack o' lantern type. Looking he went thing, a little I more thought. Halloween. With yeah, it. he like did. It yeah, I seem to remember technology. jack o' lantern looking. It's shit. like he took the the pumpkin bomb and shoved it in an actual pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he, he liked the. He was like, you really got the bomb part down. Yeah. But I'm not seeing the pumpkin. I will say, I'm super excited now that Spider Man is part of the of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like that is that's gonna be a lot of fun, dude. Yeah, fucking. There's a lot of fun characters in that in that. I mean. The only thing I wish they would do is they would rehire uh, J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson. Best that was, yeah, he is that was like that was casting made for that guy. Yeah, perfect. And it was it was so spot on. It's like yeah, absolutely. Just pull him back in. Why not? You yeah. Because we never saw we never saw uh, Jonah in uh, in the Amazing movies, right? In Amazing Spider Man one and two. I'm not sure. No, I, no, he, I, don't know, I only saw there. the first one. Yeah. He wasn't and so it's like, so. yeah, bring him back. Why not? You know, and it would be a fun little tie back to the old, you know, kind of like throw, like, oh, kind of throw hey. Sam Raimi a bone for amazing casting. Alfred spanned movies before he died. Did he? Yeah, there was yeah. an Alfred that carried over between the, the different Batman series. Clooney and someone else. Yeah. Both had the same Alfred. But that, I mean, that was still yeah, Kilmer, Batman. Think. I mean, that was yeah. actually, that was still the same same line. If was like it the same Alfred all the way through? I don't, I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure. But well, I mean, it's, it's, if it would have been like that, that yeah, Alfred, Alfred if it would have been that Alfred in like the Christopher Nolan mm -hmm. movies, that's something. But I mean, that's really just the same thing. Well, he I mean. died. No, so. that was yeah, exactly. Crying Michael Caine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your cross echo through these holes. And that's the other thing too of of, of talking about 
like not being that into uh, Batman versus Superman or Suicide Squad. I'll say reverse of that. Fucking uh, Civil War looks God, awesome. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Our, our, uh, Captain America 2 was fucking great. Yeah. Like that yeah. was great. That's one of the best Marvel the, movies out of all of them. The, the crazy like, thing Captain about America that movie, 2. the sound design was so good in that movie. Like the punches and the hits, everything, it's everything sounded so, so good. painful. I gotta but go watch that one. It's the same guys doing, they're yeah. doing, the guys who did two are doing this one as well, right? I think they're doing, this is the Russo brothers, right? They did, they did, sure. they did, sure they did Captain America 2 and they're doing Civil War. I think. But like, I could I'm be wrong on that. I'm excited to see that. Man. I wonder yeah. if Ant Man's gonna show up. He I is. just watched he that is. on the plane. He I is. mean, well, yeah, his in scene, the after the credit scene. No, they talk about they, they've shown the lineups, like the uh-huh. two sides, and he's he's on Captain America's side. Figures. So it's like it's like Captain America and Falcon and Ant Man and Bucky, uh, Winter Soldier, and I forget who Scarlet else. Witch. Is Scarlet Witch yeah, on yeah. her side? Is she? Yeah, yeah she's on the um, side. I just and then, from the trailer. Uh, uh, and, uh, 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 Obviously, Iron, Iron Man, Man and War Machine. Iron, Iron, Man, Iron Man and War Machine. Machine but uh, uh, Hawkeye, is on, Hawkeye is on Captain America's side. Because Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch... Uh, or uh, Black, uh, Black, Black Widow. Black Widow, they fight. Um, yeah, so... Hulk's uh, in space. And Black Panther. Yeah, Hulk's, Hulk and Thor have both been confirmed not in this movie. They Hulk's said in space. Thor is, yeah. Thor's at home. Yeah, yeah, Black, yeah Black Panther's going to show up. Oh, right. Who's Black Panther on? Uh, I think him. he's on. I would imagine. I think he's I on. Uh, he's on Cap, Iron Man. Right? Yeah, because really? they showed him yeah. fighting oh, okay. Captain. He's kind of has to be at this point. I mean, everybody else is on. That's true. Iron yeah. Man That's true. Yeah. He looks awesome. Black and then we don't know where Spider Man's going to fall yet. They haven't said where he's going to fall. Which in the in the comic, Spider Man kind of is like in this weird middle spot between. Well, he both started teams. off on Stark's side and then eventually broke away. Yeah, because Stark gave him a really cool like super suit. Oh, that's, yeah. I thought yeah. Iron Manny. I thought when I thought Spider Man gets killed in the Civil War comics. Does he? I thought that was the whole thing. It was like he revealed that he was Peter Parker and then he got assassinated. He, no, that was uh, Captain America got assassinated. Yeah, yeah, Captain America, yeah, Captain America assassinated. got assassinated yeah. and then Bucky became Captain America yeah. in the comics. Dude, everybody's died once or twice. Yeah, like, who true. can keep track of Once or twice? Probably more than that. I mean, <laughs> Spider-Man died and then came back as an actual like spider thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? He, re- he reincarnated Why not? as a daddy it's, long It doesn't matter. It's a comic book. His, his arch villain is like a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some no. nog. Dude, go for oh. it. I'm nogging it. That nog. I've never been a fan of eggnog. Really? You got to take it like... It's just like, you gotta take it easy, man. Yeah, it's like a milkshake that's like it's not all good. Milky. Dude, it's that was a full glass of nog. I mean, obviously with a bunch of rum in it too. But yeah. Uh, what, what was your mix there? Like rum? The, uh, yeah, uh, rum. I had about maybe three or four fingers. Rum? I had about rum in there. Yeah, then, I had a lot of rum in there. That's a lot of rum, right? How's, it has yeah. this ratio. That's, that's good. Pretty, that will work. That's about yeah, a shot. That will work. Like a splash of nog, and you're good. I splashed. I just make sure to mix it up, dude. That rum will float right on top. Yeah, yeah. I already planned on eggnog's like tar. It's not that bad. It's tar. So should we should we Gross. talk about your mouth holes? Like, yeah, do it. Yeah, how's oh. your mouth hole doing? All right. No. So has it penetrated the, video the outside? Hasn't come out yet. Video's not out yet. So oh. so you'll should we? Yeah. Anyway, I mean, we can say it happened, right? Yeah. So people will watch. So Jer- Jeremy ate something that was bad for you that I that I got actually so I got it there was a, like a candy group well, it's, Ollie, right? it's, it's not like WD40 yeah, yeah, oh yeah yeah no. so if you watched Awu yesterday or uh, on Monday this um, week yeah this week uh, you saw Jeff eat a sour ball and then like so this this uh, this group out in, uh, when I went to MCM in London they had like all these candies and they, they hooked us up with a bunch of cool stuff and including these sour balls where they said it's like awesome. these really are so powerful <laughs> we won't sell them to children like we literally won't sell them to children so we had nine of them Jeff had one and lost his shit, and then immediately turned to Jeremy and said, I bet you can't put the other eight of these in your mouth for eight minutes. Yeah, Gavin bet me that, yeah. Yeah, um, and so... You bet um, you no money. Well, yeah, I should have gone for money. I'm not it. used yeah. to it. I'm not yeah, used to it. Yeah, you gotta learn, man. And but, the, thing, the thing is, Gavin knew that too, because you don't have to ask. Every time ever Gavin has something stupid in mind, he says, I'll give you this much money to do it. He right. offered nothing to Jeremy. He gave and Jeremy, me- Jeremy was like, I'll do it! I got like 10 I bucks for wait. jumping out of the building on a stool. Like, uh, but so yeah, he said, I bet I, nothing. He just said, I bet you can't hold these in your mouth. And you said, yes. And I said, sure, deal. So like eight of these really sour balls for four minutes, I had to keep in my mouth. And um, you, you didn't have to. The video will come out at some point and oh, you can dude. see how it went. But Jack pulled Coke out of somewhere. Uh, yeah, the bad mixture. thing is the last, the last one I, I got out of my mouth at the end of it, uh, Def like ripped my cheek off with oh. it because it like fused oh. to it. <laughs> yeah, that's like you had a groan inside of your gums. Yeah, right? I showed like the inside of your mouth. I showed pictures of it to, to Gavin and Jack and them. It but, was uh, very gross. It's it was a, like a white like, death. Yeah, this. So last night, this side of my mouth, it feels like a sponge. If you run your hand over a sponge, oh. it's just all holes and everything. 
and my tongue's completely burnt. It's like if you drank hot coffee. But uh, oh. so it's all white and it's a little black in the inside of my cheek. Well, now. that's necrotic tissue. You're yeah. in serious trouble. Yeah, actually. yeah, I'll be all right, dude. I uh, repeat what I said during the video. Like, I'm so glad I didn't do that for once. Yeah, yeah. Like I saw Jeremy doing it. It's like it's an eating thing, and I'm not doing it. And then Jeremy's like, my mouth got burned. <laughs> so I was I, like, of course. Yeah, so I can't taste anything. I haven't been able to taste anything <laughs> for like a day. So now. you still can't. No, this was just water. I saw you last night water. on Twitter. You were talking about possibly going to the doctor. Right? I was thinking about it because I, I got nervous when I saw the, the amount of whiteness on the inside. Oh. I was like, that can't be good. And then I was like reading, and they were like, ah, oh, you know, bad mouth burns will just turn white while they're shit happens. I was like, all right, fine. Yeah, I'm probably you don't need fine. to go to the fucking hospital every time yeah, you film girl, a video. What a exactly. God I was damn, just like, dude. I'll be fine. I'll, it'll pass. Oh. <laughs> I'll taste again. It'll pass. You yeah. have a hole in your mouth. It'll pass. I, I was <laughs> like, all the guys are poking. I was sitting there yesterday, like we had gotten pizza and I couldn't eat any because it hurt oh. too much. Yeah, you set it down. You like took one bite. And you're like, you nope, went, no, no, no. Yeah, like I couldn't chew because my teeth hurt so much and. uh I was just like, oh, when I get home, I'll brush my teeth or whatever. It'll be fine. And Jeff sits down, looks at Michael, and goes, "Yeah, that'll fix it." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the look he gave me because I happened to be sitting in Ryan's chair for some reason, and Jeremy was talking about whatever, and Jeff's sitting down in his chair, and he looks at me, and it was like one of those looks where it's just someone's like, "Hey, is so and so all right?" And you're like, "Yeah, they're great." <laughs> oh man! It was kind of that. We could have been cruel and given you like a glass of orange juice or something afterwards. Oh my <laughs> so, god, dude! I went to eat, kill you. Yeah. I went to eat yogurt because I was like, oh, yogurt. It's a base. Yeah. I was like, yogurt will help me. That's great. It was Soothing. lemon yogurt. Oh. Oh. Like, you idiot! And it was like <laughs> the most painful thing. I was at home by myself, just you suck on this lemon. Oh, so hot, so, man! So, man, those sour balls were really sour. Uh, Let me get some lemon. Get more no, I, so oh, what, what, is, what does your lady friend think of this kind of? She's not here. Yeah, she's not. In Massachusetts. Oh, there you go. Perfect. I called her and said I did a dumb, and then that was it. <laughs> for no money. Yeah. Right. For nothing. Which uh, that's one of the things people are calling out about our LA video that just came out. Like, look how rich these pricks are. They're oh, fucking yeah. rich. <laughs> there's I had. Hold about um, about well, we, we need, all know it's just Gavin that's rich, and he put up all the money. Right Ryan, please. Oh, He's not here to defend himself. Against that's, yeah, completely that's no, that, true uh, So that, okay, so we should explain the whole like. So if you watch, Jack's a piece of shit. That's yeah, it, yeah. right? Well, my piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we were staying at this hotel, a really nice, kind of like cool, trendy hotel in Los Angeles, right? And uh, you're like, referring to the. By the way, there's a YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, adventures in LA. Yeah, eight, uh, adventures, adventures in LA, in Los yeah. Angeles. Which I love those videos. I love I love watching them. Travel show. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. It's a fun excuse to film everything, but. So we were at this bar at the top of our hotel, the hotel we were staying at. And so there's a bar at the top, and that's where the pool is. Like, that's where the hotel pool is, right? And so you literally just, like, walk past the bar, and it's like, there's the pool. But there's also a bar where people go and drink at night and just have whatever, and you see celebrities, or I don't know, whatever. And so we're drinking there, and somehow it comes up, like, Gavin, what would it take to get you to jump in the pool? And he's like, $5,000. Yeah, he's it's like, like, instantly, like, nothing. I'm, yeah. I'm Gavin Free. I'll never do it. Yeah, and so... I was like, I think we got it down to like 500 bucks. He's like, I want to do it for 500. And I was like, I would do it for 500. And then I think it came down and like it got it got to the point where Gavin was like, well, I'll throw in 100. And Jeff's like, or you'll, you'll, you'll throw in 60. Because I, I had no, it on Jeff, me Jeff too. Jeff would throw in 100. Gavin would throw in 40. You throw in 60. Or no, Gavin, no, Gavin would throw said Gavin 50. 50. And then you said you'd throw in a buck. And I was like, yeah, Ryan took out the dollar. $211 to jump in a pool. Well, here's the thing. And too. the thing was, too, I could like, I was allowed to take off my shoes and take everything yeah. out of my pockets, which was like, yeah, of course I'll yeah, But it was your only pair of pants. Yeah, that's true. That's, yeah. that's the point I stress, too. There's no, there's, they don't, that video doesn't have the, 15 minute conversation of Jack fighting desperately to jump in the pool without his pants. And I'm like, oh, yeah. no, yeah. no, <laughs> your pants are on. I'm Leave not giving you $60 to go swimming. Yeah. The whole thing was we were there to play Rainbow Six and we were doing that um, Siege Day thing. Yeah. But that was the night before. So the reason we paid him $211 is like, granted, it's a fucking waste of money. But the whole point is it was a video. Not to mention my money, like the $60 I put in, which I always keep as logic in my head. That's from the fucking barbecue sauce that I drank. Like when I, when I <laughs> I win That's money in money? a bet at work, I fucking put it back into work. I don't yeah. take it home and go like, yes, I made yeah. money. It's like, I'm gonna waste this money on Jack just like Gavin wasted his money giving it to me. That's the whole point, yeah. is to do dumb shit. That money will come back into yeah. the group so, at some point. I think I just had it in my wallet and it was more of a like, let's get this rolling, like here's money. Cause Jack and Jeff, they will always, or uh, 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 Jeff and Gavin will always pay, but they never have money on them. Yeah, Cause nobody yeah. has fucking cash. Everybody's always like, I'll pay you yeah. later, I'll pay you later. When you start seeing money, it's like, oh, maybe I'll do it. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. Ryan had his you dollar. You smell that green. And you're like, oh, shit. We had to do the fucking siege thing the next day, and Jack's like, I can't. I only have one pair of pants. I can't do it. And yeah, because like, we were there for it. one night. Or no, two nights. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not going to bring two pairs no, of jeans. No, it was just for, one. Was it just one night? You left the next day? Yeah, I think so. Maybe it was two nights. No, no, it was two nights. early the next day. Yeah, we got there, shot the next day, and left in the morning. But uh, yeah, and so it was like, that's my only pair of jeans, and I'm like, and then Jeff's like, oh, this, we have a hair dryer, just put your hair dryer in there. That's the best part, and I was like, too. Okay, fine, fuck it. And so we walk over, and there was a couple in the pool, too, which I think you can briefly see them and in the video. even then, like, oh, 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 those people swimming, what an asshole. You walked up to those people, and you're like, yeah. hey, we're doing a stupid bed, I'm gonna jump in the pool, yeah. I'm gonna try yeah, not I to gave splash them plenty you. Of heads totally up. splashed them, and they got up and left after you jump in. But you still told them. <laughs> I gave them that They up. were so like, fine with it. They were totally fine with it. They were like, go for it, dude. Okay. What? And so I hit the pool, and then I get out. I'm like, oh, it's actually it was like warm. It was like a heated pool. It's like, oh, this is really nice. And pretty much as soon as I said that, I look over. There's four security guards like right inside of the pool. They're like, uh, sir, you've had your fun. You need to leave. And I was like, okay, getting kicked out again. And so, even more yeah. awesome, not in the video. That totally happened. You're like, hey, yeah. oh, I'm leaving now. All right. And they immediately <laughs> pulled you out. And they're like, you can't, you can't go swimming fully clothed, sir. And they're like pulling you out. As they're pulling you out, there was another dude, like another well, bouncer the there. There's a bunch yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons of them. Yeah, there was three. And uh, they were all there. I mean, so. it wasn't that big of a space though. No, it's like they no. were all standing at the pool. Yeah. And one of the guys was like, yeah, I heard you guys talking about it. Uh, Figured we let you do it first. Like he was like, he, he said, <laughs> what he said was, he was like, I heard you, I heard you guys were gonna pay him two hundred dollars, so you know we had to let you do it first. Yeah, yeah. So even then, people commenting like, you guys were assholes. It's yeah. like even the security guards came over and they're like, he can't swim in the pool. And Jack's yeah. like, yeah, I know. And he immediately got yeah, out. Like, nobody, was nobody a, get thrown out. Nobody was yeah. like, how dare you? You've ruined this yeah. place. I'm sure it was just like a policy where like if someone jumps in, he's got to move them out. Right. It's like, yeah. all right, we whatever. even asked him. He's like, we're like, so uh, how often does this happen? He's like, yeah, at least twice a month. He's yeah, like, yeah, it happens a lot. But I mean, it was Happens like we didn't cause any trouble. Like I was not intoxicated. I think I had like two drinks that night, so it was not like we were like being stupid and loud. Other than those two people in the pool, there was no one around. Yeah, really. yeah. Like we pretty much did that and then went down. Yeah. There was an elevator right around the corner. Went down and went. Yeah, down and, and, I, and I, I, had the, I had the towel, and he was yeah. like, "Oh, you gotta leave it." I'm like, "Well, I'm staying here." And he's like, "You're staying here?" Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, ah, shit. Okay. And so, but then, so the part is not in the video is I get down to my room and I, I take my <laughs> jeans and I like, I roped off the end of the leg. And so I put the hair dryer in my leg to try to like just heat it up and just like burn out the water. And the, the, air, the hair dryer turns off and I'm like, oh, it must just overheated. So I take it out, put it back in, click it on, nothing. And I'm like, oh, that's not good. And just click it on and nothing. And I, I killed the hair dryer. I totally <laughs> murdered it. And like, I didn't even have one leg dry. And I was like, Fuck. <laughs> so like, I hung them up, and I'm like, maybe it'll dry overnight. I wake up the next morning, still soaked. And I was oh. like, oh, shit. So thankfully, I was looking for another hair dryer, and I found an iron. I'm like, oh, shit, an iron. Okay, so I literally ironed my pants dry. So That's I, worth $60 to me. Absolutely. Yeah. And I tweeted, so I tweeted a photo. It really is. I tweeted a photo of it. It was great, too, because when I was ironing, I could literally see the steam of the pool water <laughs> coming off it the thing. It smelled like chlorine yeah. in the room. <laughs> but I spent, like, I spent like 30 minutes ironing my, my friggin' <laughs> jeans dry. But it worked. And then Jeff almost threw my iron out the fucking window. <laughs> But he didn't. He People did. got out about it too. He could have easily gotten that iron out the window. I don't know, man. He was trying. No, he, he wasn't. was video I was trying. The next day. He was video. He trying. hit a point where he totally could have and went, oh, whoops. What's well, like, funny, he like did not throw this and, out. And the the the, the video we, that we put up on the website, it starts with like the maid coming in and saying, like, hey, yeah. I'm just expecting the room. Jeff had been going for like ten minutes at that yeah. point. He's knocking shit over. Oh my! I filmed the footage, <laughs> the raw footage of Jeff just trashing a room, and it was like nine minutes long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was all this though. It wasn't like he was just slapping things before. He was just like going around and just like. Yeah. Just turning he was literally shit over turning like, shit yeah. over. He was put like taking things, putting them on the floor. Yeah, he wasn't throwing things out the window. Well, he did throw something out the window. He, he threw, threw a few things. He threw out the paper window. out the window. A pencil, and he threw a pencil, earplugs. which he found. He found yeah, I later. Found the oh, yeah. I went looking for that. And pencil, he also threw it. the earplugs out the window. The yeah. pencil made it into the stream. It did. Yeah, because <laughs> we found it as we were walking to the stream. Oh, You're yeah. like, oh, here's the pencil. And so I, I put it in my pocket. And then I somehow, it, I think Jeff Keeley called that. I was like, Keighley what do you, what you the pencil for? I was like, oh, this is a bit now. Jeff threw it out the window. Yeah. Yeah, he was so. like, what, what are you going to do to our team? And he broke the pencil. Yeah, yeah well, Gavin almost oh, flung it, the, and then yeah. he broke it. But yeah, that pencil had an exciting life. <laughs> like, <laughs> that day was a very exciting day in that pencil's life. So anyway, that was it was a fun time. And um, yeah, so if you're a developer out there, please fly us to more locations. <laughs> so we can do more <laughs> I stuff like, like yesterday that. Jeff walked into the room uh, after that video had gone up. And he, was, he like sat down and he goes, well, people think we're assholes. <laughs> Michael goes, 
Well, we kind of are, but yeah. not as bad as they think. <laughs> but it's, it's like, what annoys me about it, it's like, people think we're assholes, whatever, in the video. What annoys me is like, our fans, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I am a fan of you, of Achievement Hunter, of Rooster. I love you guys. I love how you just fuck around, you fuck with Gavin, this and that. I love every time you do the live action news when Gavin kicks over John's coffee cup and spills water all over his desk. Asshole move. It's yeah, that's fucking a super funny. Asshole move. Yeah. Jeff literally knocked things over in your hotel room and people lost their shit. Yeah. They were like, this is too far. What, what the, you guys what, destroyed. Destroyed a hotel room. Destroyed it? He fucking <laughs> threw towels on the floor. Yeah, he threw yeah. hangers on the floor. What you're describing as destroyed, it, the maid can't tell the difference. When she gets there, it's this Jeff taking Jack's towel and throwing it on the ground is the same thing as someone taking a shower and leaving it on the floor. And people, it's yeah. just like, that's what annoyed me the most. People fucking exaggerating the shit out of it. Like, he could have killed someone. He was throwing things everywhere. He threw that towel in the hallway. Oh my god, you mean the hallway where you're supposed to leave all- like, you know when you order room service? Where do you yeah, leave yeah. your food? Out the door, on the floor. And someone's like, he threw that towel in the hallway right after the maid came by. Well, it was like three minutes later, because there's editing in videos. This is like the thing that, that like, we expect, like, as Achievement Hunter, as content creators. Like, yes, there's things you don't see in the video. You didn't see the part when Jeff cleaned up the room after yeah, he yeah, wrecked yeah, the yeah, The yeah. 30 seconds okay? it took us to put everything back where it was. Because it's not fucking funny. Why would we put that in there? It's like, yeah. watch Jeff wrecking the room, acting like a dickhead to Jack. The funny part is me laughing the whole time, Ryan leaving comments in the camera, Pan the Jack, and he's just completely oblivious. <laughs> like, you were like, you were uploading the album. Yeah, I was uploading the album. You did yeah. not blink an eye. Mm -hmm. That's the funny part. It's Jeff being like, I'm wrecking your shit. I'm wrecking your yeah. shit. And you're just like, yeah, whatever. All right, Jeff. Yeah. you're just so used to it. Yeah. Well, and to the, have our yeah. fans tell us, like, that's too far. It's hey, like, to be fair, really? most of the comments were, wow, these guys really are pieces of shit. I loved it. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> I have no problem with that. But it's like, but is this, does that mean we're setting the whole generation of kids now who are looking looking up to us that now they see that and they're like, oh, I can be an asshole. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. We are not the no. main. Like, I got it. Them also called out. They were like. Oh, he's just he's doing the rock star thing. Like, yeah, you know, that was the whole point. Rock stars yeah. are way he worse. He was wrecking oh, yeah. a hotel. Yeah, we didn't shatter any mirrors. We didn't break any lamps. Seriously, like, guys, he out the, the window. Not only that, not only that, they're like, we're just just destroying hotel property. It's like one, he didn't destroy literally anything. Okay, <laughs> second of all, um. You know, like, we pay for that, right? Like, if, if something did happen to break, yeah. like, I saw one guy literally say, you're costing the hotel money. It's like, you have a credit card down at the desk, yeah, right? Like, have. you know when you take a fucking drink out of the fridge, they charge you for it? Same thing works if you steal a robe, or steal a towel, or break a fucking TV, or anything. Yeah, Rooster yeah. Teeth pays for it, that's how it works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. So all the robes I have from the various hotels we've been to, it's been Well, great. it's nice to know where you've They're been. They're covered, it's don't nice worry about it. Been. Yeah, exactly, you need some kind of souvenir. But it's like, yeah, Jeff picked it all up, and I, I, I didn't feel the need like I was going back and forth with some people just saying like no well that's actually this happened whatever and I didn't say it. Jeff finally came in like I saw him replying to people about the video and he was like yeah I, you know I, I picked it all up afterwards and it's like I feel like we shouldn't have to get to that yeah. point yeah. watch it for entertainment be like that's funny and then move yeah. on there is common sense behind the fucking video that's not the point of the video when you watch a TV show of whatever it is and they destroy the set guess what there's still people that clean up the set you know what I mean do you think the actors cleaned up that set like they, they say they cut and then someone else comes in yeah. and they clean it up and then they redo it. Yeah, Mark and Summers like, has double dare and they has people come in and they clean yeah. this shit up. It's just like, do that. It, I, I realize that because it's YouTube and because it's us, it's real, but at the same time, like, do you not think that we stage shit for it? It's like not staging as in it's fake. It's like you cut out the production part. We're on a set right now, but it doesn't look like a set. It's just what? here. You don't pan to the right and be like, look, but there's a. Uh, there's just some shit over there. That's just empty yeah. space. It's yeah. like, well, that's the whole point of the video. Yeah. It's to hide it from yeah. you so you yeah. don't see it. Allow, allow me to ruin, like, blow your mind. The podcast set is right there. It's, it's like, like you're, literally you're just, like 50 feet away from here. You're complaining yeah, about the content Ryan. we cut out of the video Ryan's to make yeah, the lost, video lost better. <laughs> like the, just the like, screen of empty look, Ryan's chair. Ryan, no, that's he, in a different universe. Oh, Ryan, it's no. Claptrap. No. It's Claptrap. He's got Hi, it. everybody. Yeah. So. I can't wait for the news. Taglines to come up that possible crazy people destroy a hotel. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's gone. It's gone. Like I left a comment. Somebody said th that was like weird watching Jeff basically destroy a hotel room, and someone else replied and he was like, "Really, dude? Like destroy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He knocked some things over and then he picked them up." And then I replied to that comment. And I was like, "I was like, dude." Those maids were picking up towels for weeks. <laughs> some say they're still there to this day. And then I had people reply to that like, 
you think this is fucking funny? I was like, <laughs> yeah, I filmed it. Yeah, did you hear me laughing in the yeah. video? I thought it was great. <laughs> someone was like, that was literally the tamest thing I've ever seen. Like, it's like, it's, yeah. it's like, literally yeah. like knocking someone's pencils over think, and then picking them you up. You think like the mid 80s, like <laughs> Axl Rose's Slash were in hotel rooms like, yeah. Fuck you! <laughs> Jeff, All right. Jeff took a bottle of Coke. This was this, yeah, right. Jeff took a bottle of Coke from the mini bar, drank it, dropped it on the floor. I looked at it and laughed, and then 30 seconds later, he picked it up and put it in the garbage. Yeah. And they're like, "Fucking animal! Could have killed someone." I bet that made slitter wrists after yeah. she cleaned that room. Oh, good lord! After Lost that segue, I'll go right into the sponsor. Here. Oh, all right, nice. It's a beautiful segue. Well, I try to uh, try to keep it relevant. I want to thank, uh, shout out, and thanks to Lenovo for sponsoring this episode of Off Topic. Dark Rift, a team of developers. Well, oh, Ryan's running <laughs> wow. somewhere. He's Ryan probably going pee pee. Skipping away. Here's the He's best part. I'm gonna wait. Here's the best part. I specifically had Ryan check yeah, out yeah. this ad read, oh, like the stuff, yeah. so I could talk to him about it. He's yeah. like, "Do the ad read. I'll be right back." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. You need someone to bounce off of. That's right. I'll start it while he's gone. Okay. Uh, thanks to Lenovo for sponsoring this episode of Off Topic. Dark Rift, a team of game developers who left a AAA company and partnered with Lenovo Gaming to create a 3D sci-fi tower defense indie game powered by Lenovo Y Series Gaming Gear. Dark Rift is doing something we've never seen before by including you in the game development process. So we partnered with them to get the word out. Um, so basically, there's nothing. They're not like selling anything. There's nothing there. It's just a. It's just a, an indie three D sci fi tower defense game, and uh, they basically want you to go to uh, their website, which I'll read here in a Is minute. Uh, Lenovo Game State dot com. Lenovo Game State dot com. Basically, the Game State program is a program they're running with this game that they're making that I don't think has a name yet. The game. Um, but really, it's just like an interactive uh, like feedback system for the audience, where like they're extensively publishing like every step of the development of the oh, game cool. and they want you to go to the website like log in make an account and just leave feedback on the game so each thing they they have it broken down into missions instead of like updates you yeah, know yeah. and it's like mission one i think mission one was like concept art and stuff like that so it's like check out all the stuff we have tell us what you like tell us what you don't like if you have other suggestions about the game this and that and that's that's really it like they're just looking for for feedback and for you to help kind of sculpt you know, where they go with this game. I have a question for you. Yeah, uh -uh. here you go. Can we use our community to go to this website, the LenovoGameState.com, and affect the title of the game? Because we should absolutely call it like the the you know Michael and Gavin pew pew space we defense game. That. <laughs> that we shouldn't do that. I don't know that they want to sponsor the Michael Gavin pew pew thing. Well, no, but that's what you call. It. That's what the community that, wants. They, yeah. they can go. They, they, can, go, I mean, they can go to the website. They can sign up yeah. right there. Check it out. That'd be awesome. They can do that. Can call uh, like I mean, it, listen, than listen. I don't, go. I don't know if a uh, name the game mission might come up at some point. I'm just it saying. Might. It they're, could... they're, they're asking for support. They're asking Look, for the community to help go build to the this website, game. You'll find out. You've immediately I'm just taken saying, it, Jack. The Michael yeah. and Gavin <laughs> Pew Pew Space Defense I like how game. you've taken it, but you put my name on it. Yeah. yeah. No. Like, like you're throwing I'm, I'm, me I'm going to say this, but it's your fault. Yeah, it's your name on it. You're a piece of shit. Lenovo is nice enough to sponsor us. We should help them out. We should give something back. A really lovely game. Yeah. Yeah, all the people, the Michael great. Gavin Pew Pew Space hey, Defense game. if the mission ever comes up, I strongly uh, uh, I encourage you there to you go, go. Uh, suggest the name of your choice. But uh, Michael and Gavin Pew Pew Space... Space Defense game. Yeah. Space Defense game. Lenovo, uh, sta Le Lenovo Game State .com. We want to thank you for all your comments on Mission 1. The developers at Dark Rift are loving your involvement in bringing this game to life, but they want to challenge you to keep going. For those of you who have not signed up yet, visit LenovoGameState.com. That's LenovoGameState.com today and sign up to join the ultimate indie game build. Now it's time for Mission 2. Click on Mission 2, Defend Your Territory Tile, to check out exclusive fly-through footage featuring different levels in the game. Tell us your thoughts and offer suggestions by leaving your comments below. Once you left your comments below, at the link below, click on the share buttons and follow all GameState updates on, on at Lenovo Gaming and spread the word by using hashtag GameState. That's hashtag GameState. So yeah, like Mission 2, I watched it earlier. It's just like a fly through of one of their levels. It's oh, like cool. a 50 second video. And uh, yeah, it's just showing you like the 3D model of the game that they're building. It's pretty cool. Awesome. It's like kind of like a, it's like a spaceship interior mm -hmm. looking thing. You just kind of like flying through. And, what uh, I took from what you just said uh -huh. was that they're oh, taking suggestions. <laughs> so I'm just saying, uh, if feedback. you want to have a feedback, feedback. Suggestions. Feedback. So if they yeah. want to, like you know, throw in like a picture of the achievement hunter guys on a wall uh, somewhere, maybe textures, or yeah. or name the game the Michael and Gavin's yeah. 
<laughs> pew pew space game, tower defense game. What do we call it? I lost it already. Tower pew pew space game somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So this is like two companies. That's cool. Like working together. Well, it's yeah, it's Dark Rift, the game developers working with Lenovo. The they they make like game equipment and shit like that. I know. I've got a Lenovo laptop. Oh, gaming laptop right there. They make gaming gear and stuff like that. So and like Funhouse. I don't know if you've seen any of the Funhouse videos, but they're they've been like they. I guess they're a little more important than us. Like Funhouse has been working one on one with them. I was they, when I was like given that the ad, and it's like you know this is basically what it is and stuff. It's like oh well, what kind of stuff is it? Nadia's like, let me just show you all the Funhouse videos. Oh, oh. And I was just like, and you're like, once you watch that terrible stuff, are we, right? Like, let's let's just show right. Are we beating them in bucket. subs, Ryan? We, we were less we than are, three thousand away. We are away. nipping at their heels. Uh, can we beat them by the end of the year? We yes. can beat them we can with play. Lenovo Game State. There you It'll go. help us. It push the threshold. The Michael and Gavin Space Game pew, or Pew Pew Space Game Tower Defense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an account. Ago. I don't know, I don't know what the character limit it is, but I'm gonna make an account. And if if it's available, I'm gonna make Michael Gavin Pew Pew Space Game. Okay. My account, and, <laughs> and the, then I will give feedback. The subtitle yeah. can be "Subscribe to Achieve 100 Not Funhouse." Subtitle on your <laughs> username. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> you know, all sites have this. This uh, ad read sponsored by Lenovo and Lenovo Game State and. Jack. Hey, there we go. So, uh, shout out to them. But but fuck Funhouse. I like their laptop. <laughs> Ryan's still checking uh, to see I'm how looking, many subscribers were behind them. We're now you're referring close. to the great uh, YouTube race of our subscribers, what, you uh, Achievement Hunter versus versus Funhouse. You're taking forever. He's, he's, no, I, I have to open two different ones. I got. Oh I got, God, you, you, can, you can literally I got go. Funhouse here. You can literally can open Achievement here. Hunter, look at the number, and then go to Funhouse. I've oh done shit! It like I'm subscribed to Achievement well, Hunter. Well, I mean, I want to fit in. All right. So. Oh my God! Just go to About Ryan. What about what? Oh my God! That's how YouTube works. All right, so Achievement Hunter is sitting at 831,184 subscribers. Funhouse is at 833,863. All right, what did I just say? <laughs> uh, I just, look, you had in charge of that I was number. Gonna, okay, you are eight, in charge of your own 831, number. 831,184 versus 833,8. Oh, so we're 2,500 oh, away, essentially. Wow. So we, and, all, we are very close. And you know what I heard, too? Their socks still not sold out. Oh! They're really trying to push. Our socks to get back Bam. in the store immediately. Oh, oh Ryan! Ryan, Ryan, Ryan bought the last pair! These are actually the preview Oh, yeah, those are, those oh, are the beta right, ones. Yeah, yeah. Those are OG because they're green. Yeah. The you get ones just like this are almost. Uh, uh, are, no, ours, these are, are these the ones black. we got since. They're more black. The ones that have the stripe on them, too. So. Well, I'm saying this, this well, black they've been this washed here. a bit. They've been washed is, uh, a bit. the original. Ours, yeah, ours yeah. are more green. Yeah, we've had ours for a while now. We had the pre-release. And now the official ones are out. Fucking I think ours songs. are sold out, but yeah, they are. I checked if yesterday. You need, if you need, you know, Funhouse, don't buy them. You know, wait for <laughs> if you back. need Funhouse, don't buy them. <laughs> you want to complete the set? Don't, dude. Off-topic shirts selling like hotcakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People, people fucking love it. Well, the first I'm, batch sold I'm, out, right? Yeah, first batch sold out. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, hoping we can get some more going soon. Uh, already in talks about our second product. Ooh, there, there, like, we gotta make something else. What are we gonna make? We gonna make a shirt? I don't know. My I question: think We need to make a pint glass. We need to make uh, a mug. We need to make a coaster. We need to make another shirt. We need to make those signs. We need oh, to yeah. make an at-home off-topic bar that you can buy and put in your own house. Did that would be smaller? awesome. No, they've always been that size. Like you know what? What should do? You know, McFarland. <laughs> no. Like yeah, look how confused Ryan is. Yeah. No, they've always, they've always been, been that, that size. It's the exact. And same C3PO poster. has always had a silver Eight leg. It's just now. further away. C3PO around. always has had a silver leg. And we almost so got McFarlane, you. the guys who make our Ruby toys, the McFarlane and figures, the guys who make Spawn, they make Spawn. Uh, they actually they actually did a Doug and Bob McKenzie action figure set, whereas the two guys sitting down. I don't know. Do you guys know, know Doug and Bob McKenzie? No, I don't. Are no. Great White North. Anyway, it's a SCTV thing, old school. It's two guys sitting down drinking beer and they're Canadian, and it's a set kind of like this. We should talk to them about getting. An oh, off-topic. Michael Gavin Pew Pew action figure set. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. sitting, yeah. sitting yeah. off, so it'd be Michael and Gavin in spacesuits sitting in front of the off-topic set. Yeah. In space. In yeah. space. With a space That'd background be awesome. behind Normal us. Game <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. They love it, right? Love you it. just keep mentioning. You keep mentioning it. Like that's name I love doing. Ad reads. It's great. Yeah. No. You just read it and you move on like a normal human being. Yeah. You know, right. and you come back to it. Like, remember when we did that ad read? It was great. I, I loved all it. About it. <laughs> well, we don't just associate our name with just anybody. We have to know who they are to yeah. understand. Yeah. Like, and you know. Well, not only that. Yeah. It's like, just I, done. I, I do agree with you on that. It's like shit. That's cool. Like, yeah. who, like again, it's like the ad read we just did, Lenovo. Like, they're not even selling anything. Like, there's nothing to buy. Yeah. It's right. not. It's just like help us develop a game. Like. What gamers wouldn't want to do that? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's a really cool opportunity where they're, you know, it's more than just like a message board. It's more than just like, well, oh, leave a review. It's like we want you to tell us we are going to read it. It's not like social media is going to read it. Like the people who are making the game are going to read your comments. And mm -hmm. it's just like a really cool and platform. 
They have feelings. <laughs> they, they, they do have feelings. They do have feelings, but they've been, but they, but they've been, they've been trashing yeah. hotel rooms they, for they like the past constructive, six months. Uh, consi- uh, constructive con- Use your words. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. It's okay. Constructive <laughs> criticism. I kept, I kept saying con con. I don't You're know why. You're saying like consent. Like constructive con- con- cons- criticism. Gavin and Michael con con. <laughs> game. Keep you. Game set. Keep you. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm excited to play that game. Yeah, no. I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it happen. It. I, I, you know what, I, I'm excited to play it and hope there's multiplayer and I hope we beat the shit out of Funhouse like yeah. every other game we play them except yeah, for Dirty Bomb. I'll mention that. Why are they so How bad? bad? They're so bad at games. Why are they so bad? like we're bad. We're they're worse. worse. Achievement Hunter's not so, good. They're worse. We've, we've only lost the Funhouse one time and it was in yeah, that, that Dirty free bomb. to play in Dirty Bomb. Dirty Bomb, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, like I mean, we've done. And they kicked the I mean, shit I mean, out of oh, yeah. Smite. Yeah. Smite is uh, <laughs> well, yeah, we did. Look, Rooster now, Teeth employees. For what Listen, it's worth, I, I was playing. For I what it's there. worth, for what it's yeah. worth, technically we beat them. Jack was playing. That's true. And Caleb was. And playing. even even yeah. if you want to count technically, like technically we didn't beat them. Technically we still didn't lose because we never played. That's true. Mm. Yeah. So they didn't win that round. And so Dirty Bomb, they they will give them that one. They but then Siege, us, we've yeah. crushed them yeah. in Siege multiple times, including live yeah, on Siege. And then, uh, and, uh, and, and to live be fair, multiple times. There, there was a lot of like crossover and stuff. I don't think it's much of a spoiler. It's not like all of it was Achievement Hunter versus Funhouse, but we filmed a fair amount of GTA with them, probably two yeah. or three Let's Plays worth. And like like one whole Let's Play, I'm on Bruce's team. So yeah. It's not really us versus them, but yeah. in general, like. As people who play GTA, we fuck them up. Yeah, like we just fucking bullied them hard. That, they, I mean, they play games for a living. You think they'd be? Well, Adam, Co- Co- Adam, Adam, Adam Kovic plays games. Yeah, for I guess Kovic does. Everyone else watches and talks. But like James and, and Bruce and Lawrence, you figure those guys would be pretty good by you'd now. Figure, and but you'd be wrong. Yeah, they, they are, are not. They're, good they're all. They're all like, like, fuck you. I'll they're challenge you on PC. Also, really not good at getting subscribers. Oh, or oh, selling oh, socks. <laughs> That All was right. good. Yeah, thanks. That was uh, good. Are we, should we call them other names and see if they come walking out here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funhouse? <laughs> Yeah. That'd well, be impressive. Fly in. Yeah. Yeah. That would be impressive. Dude, Adam Kovic, that Kovic that, he's done it before. Week. That yeah. Kovic kid. Kovic kid. He did it for extra life he's last like, year. Why is he like three years younger than yeah. you? That Kovic we, call, kid. we called Adam Kovic at 6 a.m. and he was here on set like less than 10 hours. You know later. why? Because Adam Kovic wanted a job. That's true. Uh, it. It's true. He got it. It's funny. Like <laughs> it's like uh, I've talked to him. Like he's sort of like he, he like the other Funhouse guys kind of see him as the flag bearer for. Oh, he did. I mean, so he's like, hey guys, like he's sort of like the intermediary between us and them. Like granted, a lot of that was like full screen related obviously yeah, yeah. you know but, but i think like now we're all, that, we're all good i'm just saying as far as like adam being the the spirit of it that literally started with gauntlet season two yeah. like that's where i met adam kovic yeah was gauntlet season two and it was me gavin ryan and Lindsay, and like we pretty much interacted with them a lot yeah. like with the other with the other contestants there and Maybe we, we just hung and, out with uh, Kovic a lot. Greg, Greg Miller, Greg Miller. And, yeah, right. Yeah, Greg and, Miller. Uh, Justine. Got, Mel. got to know, got to know them. Freddie and uh, Freddie Wong. Those guys were all awesome. It was just like it was so much fucking fun filming yeah. Gauntlet season two. Was legitimately. I mean, it was only like three days of filming, mm-hmm. maybe three, four days. I met Ryan's wife. She's real. That's the only she time I, I was thinking about. It, I was like, that's the only time my wife has met. Anyway. Yeah. She, what did wow. you, you didn't come to the Christmas party. Where were you at the Christmas oh, party? Oh, I knew you had to work. Come. So you didn't have to work. Well, someone has to watch the kids. Yeah, you got a team. You put them in like a fucking bar. bar. You've got dogs. Put them in a crate and shut them up. They'll it be doesn't fine. work that way. <laughs> Just put enough food and water in there. Have okay. the kid watch the dog. The dog watch the kid. It's there fine. It's fine. Get them a fresh diaper. They'll Your be set wife's for a vet. A I, you have yeah. like a bunch of animals. Yeah, I got five. There's enough to watch the kids. But what if they eat the kids? No, that dog, the are, you are you seriously concerned about your animals eating the, the kids? The kids will eat the Look, animals. My yeah. dog will eat anything. Ah, uh, that's terrifying. No, she eats poop from the yard. She so, will well, eat so anything. So do I. I'm not weird. Poop from the yard versus your child. I like that you're putting your, they're on the I same like level. Think. It's like, oh, call this, this neighborhood cat shit in the yard call this versus kid my poop. child. No, it's her own poop, but I like to think that my child would be tastier than yard poop. Oh, yeah, they would be, for right? sure. Oh, yeah, you know, why? You're right. you're right. Maybe that's just the father of me thinking my kid's great, but I think my kid tastes better than poop. And that's like your kid comes home and it's like, Billy said I taste bad. It's like, you taste way better than Billy. Fuck Billy. <laughs> Billy's a piece of shit. I'll kill him. His parents are getting divorced. <laughs> That's actually true. That's just that's dark. True. That's, that's what you say. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a rough thing. It's a sad it's a, story. It's a rough thing for a kid to go through in kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting two Christmases. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Where's Daddy going? It's like Hanukkah, but smaller. That's memories. That eventually <laughs> catches up to you. Those double Christmases work out for a while. Oh. 
Dude, I'm actually having a problem with that. It's super first world problem. Okay, I got too that? many fucking grandparents giving my kids all the good shit. I don't get to give Why them anything. Why is that a problem? Oh, that's a problem because I want to be a hero. I want to be like, yeah. I want to be, a, be a, hero, a hero. I want to be a hero to my kids. No, what you do is you take the presents, you rip the tags off, <laughs> yeah. and you put your name on. Wait, how, old, actually, how old are your kids? Four and two. They can't fucking remember that. Four, no, four, four and two. Wait, no way. You're talking about remembering Jack, and I'll agree with Ryan here. They won't remember it, but they're alive now. See, kids, you have this problem where it's like, and I had this with my nephew. You know, like when I moved here uh, to Austin, my nephew was like five, four or five. My first nephew, my second nephew was about one. But like my mother primarily babysat for my brother and I lived with my parents. So like I was with my nephew a shitload. Like I was like the fun uncle basically. Mm -hmm. And it was really weird, like the whole time. Like clearly, he's a live human. Like at age three, he'd be like, "Uncle Michael," but it's like you're you're never gonna remember this. Yeah. But you know it now. Like I still have to make sure that I'm not a piece of shit to you now because you'd be like, "Why?" You know. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> it's like it's like that line. It's like that line with a dog. You know what I mean? Like your your baby is like a dog, basically, like up to one, oh, yeah, up yeah. to like two. Yeah. It's like you don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh yeah. Fuck you. Like Fuck you, you piece of shit! And then, and then one day it's like, oh, I understand you now. It's like, shit. <laughs> well, it's also like, shit. Well, the thing is, like, when when you what know, do I do? Like, like kids and like dogs is like, you know, if you do something to them where it, like scars them emotionally, like they may not remember it. They'll know. But it'll fuck them up. Their like, brain will be like, like my dog. Like, like at one point, we we burnt something in the oven. Like when we, when our when our dog was like four months old, like she was a puppy. Was it the dog? It, no, Damn it! it. <laughs> <laughs> and it set off the smoke alarms, so she has the smell of smoke and the alarm noise. In her brain, where anytime we cook something, she loses her fucking mind. Like she avoids the kitchen, and heaven forbid a, a smoke alarm go off because she starts like, yeah, like violently sense. shaking. And That's, it's like she doesn't know where it's coming from, but like she hears that noise and starts freaking the fuck I out. I train my dog to do that. When I was 15, I got a Rot Rottweiler Doberman. It's both of his parents were purebreds, so he was Oof. fucking huge. Like. He got up to he got he had to lose a little weight. He got up to 180. Wow, and Jesus. like oh, that was a little overweight. So he lost. He like. It, it like it sounds like he's fat, but it's like ideal weight. The vet said he should be one sixty five. So it's like he was fucking huge. He was probably at least six foot, like standing on his hind legs, yeah. like God. straight up. Um, but I don't know where I was going with it. <laughs> That's a big dog. You train him, you train him like yeah, something oh, happened right, right, to him right, right. when he was a puppy. The, 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 thing, the thing is with the dog, like he was fucking huge so early. So it's like. You know, most dogs you can't really just pick up and move. Even a medium-sized dog, like a 60-pound dog is like approaching the area of it's not really a dog you pick up and carry. But when the motherfucker is like 100, 120 pounds, what he would do when he didn't want to do shit was he would just fucking lay on the floor. <laughs> like he'd just go ragdoll. And it's like, I would just yank him. Like he had a choke collar, a, a choke collar mm -hmm. which wasn't like spiked or anything. It was just basically one of those collars where you attach tightens. you attach the leash to the loop and if he pulls, it, it chokes stress, himself. And yeah. it's like, well, it's, it's cruel. It's like, well, it's not really cruel. It's like, hey, stupid, stop choking yourself. Like, yeah. you're doing it, you know? But then his leash was like three inches long because I didn't want it, like, you couldn't give him leeway because if he yanked you, your arm would come off. <laughs> so it's like, my leash was like, basically like I was holding his collar. It was practically his leash. But uh, to get him to do shit, I found at an early age, and especially for like my mother, like he, he like 90% listened to me, and then it got lower and lower, like 80% listened to my father, 60% listened to my mother, you know what I mean? Like yeah. sometimes they'd have to come get me and be like, put your fucking dog upstairs, like if my grandmother was coming over or some shit. But my father had an air horn for boating, for like just a fishing <laughs> oh, no. boat, and Somehow, like, he was being a real piece of shit one day, and we ended up using it, and he was like, fuck it, it just shut him down. Like, just through, like, <laughs> like, that's it. I mean, it's loud as shit. And, like, his head drops, his ears drop, and he just, like, follows. Like, I'll just be like, go, 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 I'll go wherever you want me to go. So ever since, I mean, I had him almost 10 years. Ever since he was, like, one, he was super smart. He got trained where if he was being a bitch, I would take the thing out and just looking at it 90% of the time, that would do it. It's like, he knew the noise <laughs> yeah, it yeah. made. Yeah. So like, I would take it out. I'm like, you gonna get the horn? It's like, that's the thing with dogs too. They can learn words. Like, they obviously they don't understand it, but they know what it means. It's like, the sound. horn like, meant fuck you to my dog. <laughs> yeah. So like, 90% of the time he'd listen when you took it out, but sometimes he'd get a little ballsy and be like, no, no, yeah. I'm not gonna do it. So I'd always give him a test, like, because, like, you know, I, I know it hurts his ears. I didn't want to do it. But it's also way better than, like, I'm going to hit you. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's or choke like, him or something. It's like, yeah. I'll get you with this sound. Um, I would, like, put it into a pillow, like, face down, the horn into the pillow, and just lift up, like, 1% of it. So I would spray <laughs> it, and it would go... 
And he was just like, all right, I'm gone. All right, all right, all right. All right. Sure. All right. It was, it was okay. like the cops coming out with the right, you know, like, better get the step in, <laughs> better keep moving. And that just worked, like that was my whole life with, with that dog. It was like, it was ever he was being a piece of shit, you're just like, you want me to get this fucking horn? It did, it's the, it was like that classic kid thing where he didn't know, it was like, this thing's empty, but you don't know that. Yeah, you don't know yeah. there's no aerosol in here. But I can't, I can't imagine my life growing up with that dog without that thing. Yeah, like yeah. the amount of times he was just like, no, nope! yeah, <laughs> no. Well, no. Nothing's worse than when you see like you go to like a dog park or something, and you, you have people that's like the dog just runs over everything, is fighting, and it's like, take care of your fucking dog, yeah. you know? And like they just don't give a shit. It's like, no, 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 maintain your fucking animals. Like that's you get know, out the horn. Yeah, especially yeah, when they're yeah, like bigger the horn, dogs. Son. It's like, yeah, that you can't let that. That's a that's a wild animal. I mean, from you know, for the most part, and it's like, no, 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 you gotta. You know, train your dog to not be an asshole. So yeah, basically, it's like don't it don't just bring into a dog park. It's like oh yeah, it's fine. It just go me do whatever off fuck you, whatever you want. How so many people, so many people get animals as like things. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. it's not like an buying object. a toy. It's yeah, like buying yeah. a thing. It's a fucking family member, and yeah. it should be. If it's not, you shouldn't have a dog. That's a fourteen to twenty year okay, investment. Granted, it's not yeah. your kid. I'm not gonna say like it's as important as a human being, but yeah. to me, like it's the next step. You know what I mean? Like it's certainly my dog was my family member. Yeah. That's that I had him for fucking 10 years. You know, I took yeah. care of him. Like, I took him to the vet. I did everything with him and all that kind of shit. It's like, to me, the, when you get a pet, it's the reason why I don't own a pet now. You know, people all the time are like, oh, Lindsay wants a cat, get a cat, da, 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 da. It's like, I'm not gonna be the person that's like, I got a pet, whatever, fuck off. And then yeah, like, yeah. I don't have time to like, even even just training it. Like, I need six months with an animal. Like, if I get, if I unless you get a rescue dog or something. If I get a dog that's three months old, I'm not leaving that dog by itself for fucking four months. Yeah. Like yeah, until yeah. I know it's not gonna piss and shit all over my floor and like rip my house apart. And that's like every time someone goes, oh, you should get a cat. It's like, especially cats more than dogs. And I'm like, yeah, but all my furniture's leather and they're just gonna fucking rip it to shit. Yeah. And every mm -hmm. time they go, yeah, yeah, they'll do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's why I'm not getting one. Yeah. I'm not gonna come home and be like, ah. I'm not, at, I'm not at ass. that state yet. Maybe when I get a kid and they wreck the shit out of our house anyway, fuck it, throw an animal in yeah. there. Who cares? It's all fucked up. But yeah. It's like the Roomba's already running over my kid's feces and spreading it on the walls. <laughs> Who cares about a cat? But until then, like, I like keeping my house clean. Nothing's fucked up, nothing's eaten. And again, like, for me, like, oh, you're an asshole, you're not getting a pet. It's like, I'm not getting a pet because I won't be able to raise it properly yet. Yeah, yeah. And it's you're like, smart call me it. an asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you're traveling a lot, you really don't want to have an animal to deal with. Right. Yeah. You yeah, gotta find someone sucks. to watch it or find a place to stay. Just that's feed expensive. it or something. Shit. Yeah, and that's like, I'm leaning more towards dog just because it's like they're so, like, they can just take care of themselves. You know what I mean? You leave them in a house, mm. it's fine. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, right. I mean, that I, I was know. my dog growing up my whole fucking life. I mean, well, I had dogs since I was five years old. See, my and we never, ever, ever, like, up until I was like eight or nine. We would like lock the dog in the basement. It was like the dog can't run around the house. Yeah. They might fuck the house up when she was like one or two. And then after she ate like the third wire in the basement, my dad was like, "Fuck it, I don't care. She can stay in the house." And my whole life since, it's just like we leave the house and the dog's in the house. That's See, it. Yeah. My thing with cats is like if you give them a clean litter box and enough food, you can leave them for a weekend and they'll be okay. It's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. sure. You, you know, can't you know, leave a dog for yeah, a weekend. Yeah, you can't leave, I mean, you can't leave a dog bathroom, on its own. They, they you get know? let out. Yeah, yeah. But I, I mean more a sense of like. They're gonna fuck your house up. They're gonna eat shit. They're gonna chew shit. They're gonna be like, I, I don't. I'm fine leaving my dog for a weekend if someone comes and feeds them and lets them out. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to own a dog that I'm gonna see two hours a day. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like until I know for a fact someone's gonna be home. That was the same reason I didn't bring my dog with me when I'm when I moved to Austin. And it sucked. It sucked. Like the three shittiest things about me moving were I felt bad for quitting my job. Like I felt bad for my boss because I worked for like a mom and pop company and he trained me for five years basically to be a full time employee and eventually take over the business and I like felt like a dick to be like I'm quitting but it's like you know that was months in the making he knew that I felt bad about leaving my nephews because I'd see them way less I see them like two to three times a year now as opposed to every fucking single day and honestly the worst I felt bad about my dog because my dog doesn't understand hey I have to go take this job blah 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 it's just like well now I'm not there anymore but I left them there because my mother it was, she was like a, like a housewife she stayed at home she didn't work and it was like I'm not gonna rip my dog, who's old, like especially for his size, like larger dogs live less. He lived to be almost 10, he was like nine and a half, which is great a dog, for, yeah. for a dog that yeah. big. You know yeah. what I mean? Most people said he would live he would live till six or seven, and yeah. he lived till almost 10. Um, but I was like, I mean, he's eight years old. I'm not gonna yeah. make him fucking, I, it's like, just the travel alone to move him across the fucking, you know, from New Jersey to Texas, and then it's like, 
was gonna sit at home all day by himself and yeah. just wait for me to come home and there's nobody, you know, where at least like, even though he was my dog, and it was very clear like I was his master and he knew that, um, even ever since I was 18, like I was, the dog was three when I started going to work and he learned like, oh, Michael's gonna go to work and yeah. you know, my mother took care of him and all that shit, so I left him there and it sucked for me and he passed away, like he got sick and my parents had to put him down like while I was here and that sucked, but like th to me, that was better for him to leave him there, yeah, you know, yeah. and it was just like, oh yeah. We need to be very careful right now because we're getting very close to humanizing you. Oh, that's true. And we don't want to do that. That's true, we are see you as the asshole. Right, we are. Uh, and we, we don't want to make you shit. seem too personable. And Listen, too, you we know. can all agree that none of us are uh, just Human. good people, no. right? No. We should just burn in hell. Like, here's the thing. I think I might be close. Burn, the fan, the, you're, you're you the know, closest. Fan, the, fans, the fans, they listen, they love our content. They love that we're assholes. And this is also because not us, the fans, the fans themselves, like this year raised half a million dollars. Almost six hundred thousand. Yeah. Almost six hundred thousand dollars for charity. You know, it's like we helped facilitate that, but you know, we certainly didn't donate the money. Like we just helped. Yeah, raise we donated that some, money. but I got yeah. a pair of shoes. But it's yeah. like, I got tased. But I like, kissed, listen, I kissed Matt. Listen, <laughs> while I will uh, get wins. shot with a taser and tased twice for charity. We are terrible people, and we yeah. should burn in hell. Because Jeff did throw that paper out the window. That's true. Monster. That's really what Monster. we need to remember. We did break a pencil. We, we need to remember that pencil ain't coming back, guys. Yeah, those, those it's just plugs. not coming back. I contributed a dollar to your delinquency. You did, That's dude. Two hundred eleven dollars. I jumped in a pool. I you ruined. A I, I ruined some security guard's night who said, "Hey, wow, you can't do that. Couple. You have to leave." Well, the thing was like, I Jack, a couple. I was. I basically ruined. They probably they, went to L.A. on a time. nice vacation. They and at two a.m. when they were swimming, that they went that downstairs was the and killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. They, they jumped. They jumped first, off though, right? the building. No, was, Jack jumped that, in the it pool. Was the they, 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 were, they were so scared. They went the to the elevator. The elevator was broken. They just ripped it open and fell right <laughs> down. The staff. That was it. You know. That's why it was closed. That was why the elevator was broken. That shaft the next was open days. the whole time. It That's was just true. Wait. Yep. And so that was it. We ruined their lives because we, you know, made content. Assholes. Sorry. Awful. Just like seriously, guys, they're funny. Terrible, terrible human being. I saw one comment on that video. Because of that, I'm like, again, that video changed your mind? One person, this is a YouTube comment. They go, you know, before this video, I really wanted to hang out with these guys. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> that? Because yeah, of that? That was the one. Have you ever, that put Jack over. shot me with a taser. <laughs> like, and he hit you, me again. You are fine with that? And he that stop holding the trigger down. down. That's true. You never know what's going to happen. Jeff's going to fart on Gavin, or maybe he'll yeah. finger him, or it's like someone's going to eat something. You'll get kicked in the nuts, or someone will get tased. You threw paper out the window? How dare you? How dare you say it? I'm, I'm done with these guys. Like, that's and, and that was the thing. Like again, our fans for some reason took it the hardest. And again, this is, I'm talking about a tiny percentage. I'm yeah, not yeah, talking yeah. about the largest percentage. I'm saying of the percentage of people that were offended by the video, it seemed like our fan base more than people who didn't know who we are. Yeah. Which made me laugh because again, there was comments that was like, "Guys, I'm not saying I'm gonna unsubscribe from this from them because they're really funny, but like this did not paint them in a good light." And I saw a comment to that that was like, "I mean, you know, this is like really bad for people that see this and aren't subscribed to them. I would not subscribe to them." That's on Reddit. I go to the YouTube video. It has like four thousand likes and eighty dislikes. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, five thousand. It's currently dude, five thousand likes, one hundred and forty-five dislikes. Dude, yeah, this it ratio. looks awful for us. Yeah. And it's like again, that's it's a weird thing. Like weird things happen every now and then with videos where like people get this interpretation yeah, yeah. that none of us saw coming, and it's like our fan base is like these guys are fucking scumbags. Top it comment is. right now. Gotta love the double outro. Yeah. Yeah. Second Thanks, top Lindsay. comment. That's nuts. Uh, Probably I my wanted fault. to see more. I wanted to see more. That was the second highest comment. Because it was fucking funny. How about next time we do Jeremy's room, not my room? That's that's cool. <laughs> that was I like, wasn't even there. I don't even understand. <laughs> it's like that's, no, we'll go to your house and wreck your shit. That's right. what people yeah, yeah. took is like Jeff was being an asshole to that hotel. Just fucking like I get it, but this is too far. It's like no, Jeff was being an asshole to Jack. Yeah. That's why it was funny because we were like, haha, Jack, he's fucking up a room. Jack's like, whatever. It's fucking. <laughs> At this point, like with, with, with Jeff being an asshole to me, I'm just so used to it that like it just rolls off. Like no, because I, I know if There's I said else you can't if do. I said or did anything, you would have been out the he was going to ratchet it up. Even though, so we had an Achievement Hunter Christmas party. Like, we had a, a little Christmas dinner, like, not too long ago, like a right. lunch. Yep. Fogo go to chat. Yeah, a really Aww. nice, really nice lunch. So good. And so he's heaven. like, hey, Gavin, I'm going to get Jack. I'm going to say at the end of at the end of this lunch, I'm going to have Jack make a speech, and not, he's not going to know about it. So Jeff walks up, he's like, hey, thanks, uh, thanks everybody. It was a lot of fun. Jack has something to say. And I was like, 
Okay, yeah, thanks everybody for coming. And, you know, have, we had a good year, and it was like, and he's like, okay, and just walked off. You know what the yeah. best part of like, yeah, we pranked too. you. I'm like, no, that's I'm so used to that shit happening. He man. pranked you. You didn't even get pranked. I didn't even hear you say that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know that. I didn't even know that happened until yeah. just now. I was totally behind there. you. Oh, was it? Oh, you yeah. were standing behind you. Really? That I thought Michael had left at that point. Because I remember Michael bathroom. coming back and chugging like an Irish. Jeremy, coffee. Jeremy, <laughs> mentally, I did leave. Yeah, that's really fair. I don't know about Jeff was like, as he was saying that, he was like. Jack's just gonna roll with it. Like, oh yeah, yeah. No point. He, like he knew it was gonna yeah, it was like, go down right. exactly well, like that. Well, that's the thing. It's like you can choose to be like, oh my god, this is oh so awkward. No. Not know what I'm gonna do, or just be like, yeah, okay, I'll well, sure. This, I mean, this is what's happening, a, yep. you know. And it's we're like talking about twenty achievement hunter. Asses. Yeah, I mean, I'm also work, I'm also working with bad in front of them. I've worked with Jeff for like eight years now, so it's like this is not a shock to me at all. It's is like, it twenty? Yeah. How many of this are? There's fourteen. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. If you if you count Shifty Larry, there's thirteen of us. Shifty Larry. Well, if you count Larry, if you count Larry and Gavin, that's one employee, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, go. Larry, Larry like works three full days, out. and Gavin ends up showing about two days. Yeah, Gavin's so, here about two full days yeah. a week. I printed 13 of our little, uh, we have a new Christmas picture, our new, oh, a new yeah. family photo yeah. that I yeah. gave to everyone, so yeah. I'm sure someone will tweet that at Trevor. some point. Trevor. <laughs> oh, yeah, poor right Trevor. Right well, because, like, we took it as a normal photo, but then I had to crop it to fit an 8x10, yeah. and, like, Trevor's right on the yeah. edge. <laughs> it's like, like, you're on one end, and Trevor's on the other end. You should be happy to be included, Trevor. That's true. Okay. Yeah, he's basically, like, half a person anyway, so. All right, Go. should we uh, We should probably get out of wrap here. Wrap it up. Yeah. So we have to wrap it up a little early this week. Merry Christmas, everybody. Because of Christmas, minutes. all yeah. scheduling presents. and presents, and yeah. we don't want to take time away Yule from your shitty family. Things. Your father's actually getting drunk right now in the other room, so you should really your uncle's take care dressed of him. up like Santa Claus. He's on the roof. He thinks he can fit into the uh, the chimney. You'll fall. find he him cannot. next year. It's gonna dead be rough. It's gonna be like, chimney. It's gremlins. The we're gonna gremlins this shit. Is what's yeah. gonna happen. Hey, so. go watch Gremlins. That's go watch. That's movie. a great Christmas movie. And Gremlins too. And and Die Hard. Thanks for watching. Bye. We'll see you next week when we pre-record for New Year's. We love yeah. you. Bye. <laughs> Also, is it's very cheeky in like when it takes cultural references. It's like, yeah, her name's Tostada.